Yo, what the heck is going on? Didn't think we were starting there, but here we are. Sorry, I, I didn't have enough time to give you a warning. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another Kind of Funny Games <laughs> afternoon stream with your guy, Snowbike Mike. And it's Monday, which means it's time to kick back, relax, chill with your favorite Kind of Funny cast members. I got my dude, Nick Scarpino, rocking with me. How are you, Big Nick? I'm feeling good, Mike. I'm excited to do the morning show with you, talk about some yep. news, talk about some interesting That's aspects true. of our life. Um, yeah, I'm doing good, man. How was your weekend? Nick, my weekend was good. Thanks for asking me. I, I, I took a couple of big steps over the weekend, Nick. I made a couple of uh, some purchases mm -hmm. that may or may not be the right move. But most importantly, I played a lot of Fortnite with my dude, Kevin Coelho. We called you. Nick, and I know it was like 1230 in the morning, and technically, man, but we no. were looking for you. So I stepped up, I stepped up hard on, on the uh, Slack channel, right? Mm, the squad, did. the squad yeah, up. Yeah, you were so tough. And I flexed so hard. And then when push came to shove, when you guys were like, Nick, where are you? you? I was like, oh, you guys, folded. I'm tired. I'm watching Slack. Yeah. I'm about to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm about to go to sleep right now. Oh, what are you going to uh, do? Watched another great Seinfeld, Nick. You know, I, I, I watch Seinfeld every single night now before bed. I've, I've gone through the seasons mm -hmm. numerous times, but sometimes there's one that I'll, like, be awake for, right? And I want to bring up one, two, actually, two ones. Okay. want to bring up the episode where George meets one of Elaine Bennis' uh, co-workers, and she thinks he's a bad boy, right? And oh, then Elaine's yeah. like, oh, no, he's a great guy. And he's like, pick up the phone, Elaine. Pick up the phone. I'm a bad boy. I'm a bad boy. And that was great. And then that's the same episode where Jerry starts to bootleg movies in the movie theater. And that is a great episode. Oh, right I haven't there. gotten there yet. I haven't gotten there oh. yet. I just, I just got to the episode where he's dating the, well, they, where they burn the cabin down. Oh yes, with the cigars for the his father. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, he, and he's dating the 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 hostess from the restaurant who's really cool but has the horrible laugh, like the really annoying laugh. And he's like yes. hey, And it's so funny because this show it, what's funny is going back and watching because I watched Seinfeld when it was originally on, which means I was like very young when I was watching it. And I don't mm. think I've got I've seen other episodes of it kind of pop up here and then on, on like TBS or wherever it was being syndicated before. But I remember thinking like when it came to Hulu. I was like, I don't know if I want to go watch all of the Seinfelds again. I don't know if I'm ready for it. Because, you know, you have to go. Like, you have to, it goes in cycles. It adds up, yeah. It's a commitment, right? Yeah. Um, and also, I had just watched, like, over the last five years, I had just watched all of Frasier and all mm. of Friends. And I tried to go through Cheers. I got through, like, four or five seasons of Cheers. And I'm like, I, I might be 80s and 90s sitcomed out. But coming back to, coming back to it now... You know what brought me back in was I, I my reinvigorated love for Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah, I remember watching Curb going, "Oh my God, Larry! The, all the characters in this are such horrible human beings, mm. and Larry is the worst of all of them." But he says and does things like you wish you you could say if you just didn't give a fuck about anything. But I do give a fuck about things, so it's cathartic to watch someone who doesn't. And then I started watching Seinfeld again. I was like, oh, no, they were all terrible human beings, too. They were mm -hmm. just terrible. Like, he just literally breaks up with the woman because he can't stand her laugh. Yep. He's, just yep. like, he's like, I'm a comedian. I can't be with someone who's got a terrible laugh. And this is <laughs> just horrible. So funny, though. Yeah, Jerry can do that. Jerry, Jerry can do that, right? He In that series, Jerry goes through probably 100-plus girlfriends. Oh, yeah. If, like, you oh, keep yeah. up with it, he's just turning out girlfriends which is always so funny what happens in between but uh yeah i'm glad that you're watching seinfeld i love watching it every single night i also watch some more stuff but we'll talk about that in just a moment because i okay. gotta hear my best friend kevin coelho how was your weekend kevin uh yeah pretty good no no big yeah. uh no big whoops or anything you know uh we uh played video games too late got that 3 a.m phone call oh, i closed the mm -hmm. damn program I got that 3M forum call being like, hey, I can hear you upstairs, you piece of shit. Maybe you go to sleep now. And uh, and then I was like, yeah, babe, we're, we're done. So it's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> we uh, were not done, Nick, just so you know. We were no. far from done. Yeah, like we were winning. AM in the morning. You guys are crazy. Yeah, we, were having a, we were having a good time. It was a good squad rolling together. It's crazy, Nick, because at 3 AM in the morning, that's when we were hitting our peak, right? We were just getting to the summit. We all put on our own matching outfits, so we were looking like the Rose Skins. Yeah, in we're Warzone. the fuckboy army. And like we were about to destroy 
young children at 3.30 in the morning if Kevin's wife didn't, you know, get involved right there. It was yeah. about to go wild. I'm pretty yeah. sure Paula saved you all from just having a horrible <laughs> Monday morning. We had like two we wins in a row back. right before we left. Right before yeah, we left. We were, we were getting yeah. dubs. That's right. Listen, here's, yeah. here's what I'm going to tell you I, from my very limited Battle Royale experience. You get two mm -hmm. dubs in a row, you call it. Yeah, you oh, yeah. you're not getting. A, you're gonna be chasing that third dub for the next three hours. No, the that's diminishing it, returns is kicking in. You're not fragging out as much as you used to. Then you start to feel old, and you start to get angry. That's what mm, I, mean, I, I don't know if you've ever seen salty. Mike. I don't know if you've ever seen Mike Howard angry <laughs> at a group of jabronis that are on the opposite side of their screens, just fucking housing us. But it is mm, sad. Mm. It's scary. It's that late night vibes, right, Kevin? So no. No crazy stories from the weekend, Kevin? You well, then, then, so then the, the next day, Paula went to, to have brunch with uh, her sister's friends and her sister. And I okay. was originally going to go to that. And uh, instead, w we hired someone to come clean our couch. So I kind of waited there. Oh, oh. Then I, just afterwards, as fun. Yeah, pretty much. Just yeah, just as fun. Then uh, several hours later, I, she, Paula's like, maybe come pick me up. And hang out, and we then hung out for a couple more hours. Mm -hmm. A lot of fun. Then Sunday we didn't do much. Sunday just kind of lounged around, relaxing. You know, that's lit. Right, that's first, lit. The first time I had my couch cleaned, I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be so cool." Because you know I like cleaning stuff, Kevin. But yeah, like, I didn't realize that you can't sit on the couch for a whole day. Yeah, so we yeah, had our couch in like our dining room, yeah. and I was just like sitting on the floor watching TV. I'm like, "This is this is miserable. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst. This is the worst." You know, if you guys had the camping chairs like I did, you don't have to clean your couch. You'll never sit ah, on the floors. That's chairs. that's my couch. Well, the great, <laughs> my thing, couch about the, the great thing about the camping chairs, Mike, is that when they inevitably break and or get eaten by a bear, you just yeah. buy more camping chairs. <laughs> buy a new one. It's right. crazy. And or wait. you just wait until Mountain Dew ships you more of them. <laughs> Mike, do you really have cam camping chairs in your living room right have now? Have you never seen uh, Mike's yes, 4K uh -huh. gaming nook? No, I, I, I've never seen I have a little two person one now too, Kevin. It's two people. So like, you know, I can have another person to sit on the couch with me. It's just so sad. <laughs> it's just so sad, I Mike. It. I love it. Mike's got like a Mike's got like a 4K. He, he somehow found a 4K resolution CRT TV from like 1984. <laughs> That's not a thing. That doesn't and exist. He's just, he's just gaming. Plugging it that. in, dude. I'm hanging out. It's all analog. He had to get an RC, RCA to like HDMI <sighs> converter just to be able to play on this damn thing. No, that's you know, that's real. A, that's a great one, Nick, because there I was on Saturday night now. We fast forward one day. Saturday night, I'm in the gaming nook, right? I'm gaming hard. I'm going hard all night long. But then all of a sudden, I notice I'm like, where's my phone nick and i yeah. knew the phone was near me right because i i remember putting it down in front of me and then i was thinking you know what i'm watching a tv show i'm gonna put it next to me on my chest i'll watch it you know mm -hmm. maybe browse TikTok and stuff yeah, and then i got up and i was like where is this damn phone right and i was looking around i'm looking around and so it is now 3 30 in the morning and i turn on my computer because i need one of the jabronis to call my phone because I can't find it. It's not in the laundry. It's not downstairs by the fridge. It's not in the nook. Where could this phone be? So I get on at 4.30 in the morning and I write into the Discord. I'm like, hey, jabronis, who's ever up, please call my cell phone. I'm looking for it. And then, of course, I wake up the next morning to everybody teasing me about losing my phone at 3.30 in the morning. Turns out it slid hard into my couch and got, like, really shoved into the Always recliner. Does. I found Always it. Does. I found it eventually. I found it. I'm going to tell you one thing right now. Anytime I lose anything, Anytime I lose my phone, I could have, I could literally have just been using it and not have left my house. I always, <laughs> I'll be at the first place I look. I'm literally like, I could know beyond a shadow of a doubt, Mike, I had the phone five minutes ago. Yep. I used the phone five minutes ago to call someone. It's in the house. I haven't left the house since. I still go to my car and check the space between the just in the, case the you got it. And, I mean, and yeah. Arm. And Every often it's there. Like, That's and where it's I'm right there. Start for it. And somehow the phone's like, this is where I like to be. Yeah. Will you just leave me alone? Can I just be here in my happy place? <laughs> Every single time. I used to, I used to, my old couch, I used to use it. When we moved uh, to this new place, we got a smaller couch and the cushions aren't as deep. Mm. But I had one of those ah. beautiful, Kevin used to say, Kevin's been on a couple of times. I had one of those amazing, like gigantic L shaped mm. cool. sectional couches that okay. got just soft enough over the years that you would just melt into it and everything in your pockets yep. would fall out into just it. And you're like, it. that's Ugh. where they want to be. They're growing a community down there, just like that tree from Avatar. Mm -hmm. I used to have Just an L-shaped couch. I had some great memories on that L-shaped couch as a young adult from 18 to like 22. And that was a beautiful L-shaped couch. And I'll never forget the day 
that I finally got rid of it. And the fun part about that, Nick, was being up here in Tahoe, we had got like four feet plus of snow. Yeah. So you like had to dig out my front door type situation. And I'll never forget us battling through just feet of snow to get this couch out to the front to just chuck it in the street finally. And uh, I gave and a lot of love to that couch. Is I, it I still there? That is that couch still there? <laughs> that couch is still there to this day. It is, now, it is now the house of raccoons. That's <laughs> so what the you, couch You is. chucked that couch because you were getting a new couch or you were like, it's fine. Lawn chairs all day, what guys. Did I replace? Yeah, I got a new couch. I got So I went from the big L-shaped couch, right? This uh -huh, nice uh -huh, black uh -huh. leather L-shaped couch. And then when I upgraded to was a two-seat recliner have you ever seen the duo recliners that's yeah, like yeah. melded in the middle with a cup holder thing oh yeah, yeah very nice Those are great very nice but here's the catch you can't ever if you're with a girlfriend like there's no you're you're there's no touching each other no. right because you no. got the thing in the middle so like that had to go eventually too but like that was really comfy and nice that was really comfy and nice i'll give them that now yeah. i have now i just have camping seats <laughs> That's my couch. Camping that's, the smart, that's the pro move. We used to have yeah, really. It really isn't. The... That's the sad <laughs> eating over your sink move. It it, it really screams. Help! I please help me. Need other people in my life <laughs> who could see and potentially yep. ascribe judgment to the things that I'm mm, doing. Because mm. the I, problem is this, Mike. Like, and this is a people. This is we're gonna we're gonna pull the curtain aside, guys. This is the morning show, right? This isn't the kind of funny podcast where everyone's all fucking square, wearing their glasses and analyzing shit. Well, this readers, the, get this out of here. You know what I mean? This isn't games daily where everyone's like, "Whoa, oh, Bungie bought Sony or Sony bought Bungie." Yeah, who, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> shit, you were really I don't close. You, you almost got it. Exactly. This is where we talk real. This is the real talk time. Let's get real. When I first started watching Snowbike Mike Howard content. I was like, mm -hmm. this guy has his shit on lock. And then as I started as I started getting to know Mike more, I was like, Mike skates that line between professional podcaster slash streamer and child. And child who man feeds child. himself like a man child with a, with, with a credit card that is his that he can pay off every month so he mm -hmm. can eat Pop-Tarts all fucking day long. Sure. It's incredible. It's inspirational. It's, it's scary at moments. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You know, at moments it's like, I don't, you know, when it's like, it's like the first time you went to a rave and you're like, I don't know if this is for me, mm -hmm. but this is a, this is me being in a different environment. Spoilers, Kevin, I never mm -hmm. went back to that rave. I went mm -hmm. to one rave and I was like, yeah. that's too loud. And there's way too many drugs going around here. I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> you shove a baby's binky in your mouth at that rave, Nick. You never leave. You know what I mean? You're a raver for life. I they went do, to one they rave. They do do binkies. Nick. It's, they, it popular. was the weirdest. I was like, I don't think, I I can't fathom how people like start raving. And I have to imagine it starts with house parties with black lights, and you build mm -hmm. up from there. Because I jumped into the deep end in this LA rave that I went to one like one time. So loud. So many neon lights people doing this all the time like in your face and i was like i don't mm -hmm. know what's people had like the glow sticks around them and they just were everyone was sweating and they were selling bottles of water for like 19 dollars. and i'm like i don't like any aspect of this at all never went back never going to rave for the rest of my life you know nick as well right i choice. think about i think about my life nick right we talk about that and i definitely I think about need, your life i need lot. somebody in my life because like when you look at it i'm always up here i'm in the spare bedroom yeah i'm streaming i'm gaming I'm up here. I've even made a 4K nook with a small recliner from the 60s up here that I dragged up the stairs. But I never go downstairs. Downstairs, Kevin, it's cold. It's barren. It's a wasteland. It's got camping chairs in front of a television that I never sit on anymore. That sounds and awful. And it's just like I need. So I don't have somebody in my life to go downstairs and do that. Right? I just stay here all the time. I just stay here, and I gotta, I gotta get out, Kevin. I gotta get out of this room a little. A lot of bit. people That's saying Tahoe is awful, and you should leave that place forever. Well, <laughs> I mean, the I, the goal is eventually to have you leave and potentially come to a more densely populated area like San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're working on that, Mike. But I will say, you're gonna hopefully have a couple roommates later in life that can be that person for you. I'm sure Kevin mm -hmm. would more than happily be that person for you. I'm sure Joey would be that person for you. Um, and if you ever end up living in a space that Joey's in, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can't wait to hear the shenanigans that happen out of that because oh, you yeah. three Fortniters ramp each other up so much. You guys are going to die. You're going to be so <laughs> sleep deprived come Wednesday that it's going to be like a slumber party house. And I'm kind of jealous that I'm not going to be able to live there. Kevin, <laughs> let me know what the rent is for that spare bedroom. I'll move it's going to be a good time. That's right. And Nick, you know, 
when I think of the next space, right, I, I, I have this picture in my mind. I'm on Pinterest. I'm putting things together. I want to make it feel like adult. Are you actually putting Pinterest to think boys oh, yeah. together? I, I want to make uh, it. It's, it's going to be adult, right? And I, I've done that on the other bedroom. You all have seen the other bedroom has gone from young adult college dormitory room to, you know, I used to have Tupac hanging on the wall above my bed that said yeah. thug life. And like, that's not the best look yeah, as a young I, I adult feel like anymore, the, you know? the, the only times that i've seen your your um uh, the your bedroom it, you you play quest from there right i play quest in the bedroom yeah 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 uh-huh yeah, yeah, yeah. uh-huh but your, your bedroom so we, i feel looks like looks super bare right like nothing uh, on it well well we elevated it we we freshly painted the walls we mounted a television got a brand new bed and like bed frame it's very nice in the bedroom the bedroom looks like adult male right it's very nice very nice here young child right but then i think of my future space nick and i think yeah what do i want right and so like for me i wanted to have that adult feel i want it to be clean classy but also have a hint of fun and mm -hmm. i think i found a couple pieces that are going to be a, a piece of fun and actually one of them was one of my bad purchases of the week and that comes from tiktok tiktok oh. influenced me to buy this mr astronaut who you can face his face up and it makes galaxies on the on the ceilings, right? And now as Kevin gives me the Does it work? Face, does it work? It, it does work. It was expensive. And uh, no, uh, those are super cool. cheap, Mike. <laughs> he's very cool. It was more expensive than I wanted him to be, but I had to have it. So I bought two. I bought two for the room. So oh I have two God. galaxies colliding. So it was it wasn't it wasn't just that like it was expensive, so you were like, all right, but I really want it, I'm gonna get it. You uh -huh. bought two. You were like, well, oh, in all things in life, I always buy two because two is better than one. Everybody it's knows true. that. It's true. Uh -huh. and we so learned I that, of course, in the classic movie Contact, where the guy said, "Why not? Why build one when you can build what a two terrible for, line. The, for, for twice for the, the, the price. price of?" <laughs> yeah, it was not a terrible line of like, "All right." But I, but I love that because he was talking about the government, right? He's like, "Standard United States government. Why build one when you can build two for twice the price?" <laughs> yeah, fucking great line. Also, that was uh, John Hurt. Ah, oh, such a good character. Remember when he a went to movie. space? When he went to space because he was dying and he couldn't move, and they're like, oh, he's mm -hmm. like, I'm gonna live the rest of my life in space so I can get around easier and it's easier to breathe up here. Yeah, mm, yeah super yeah. cool. That was cool. What a badass. That's what we're gonna do. That's how we're gonna die, Kevin. Floating in space with like Tim's, Tim's uh weed, Tim's house. You know? Oh, I like that idea. I like that. Uh, let's get into housekeeping. Let's jump right into the show. Of course, welcome in everybody. It's the kind of funny morning show for January 31st, 2022. It's the final day of the month. So wake up, wake up and get ready to start a brand new month. The end of January 2022, can you believe how fast that's gone, Dude. everybody? Flying by, y'all. Bonkers. Why? Bonkers how fast this is flying by. We are almost in, in February. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about... You know, the thing that excites me about February, guys, is the Valentine's Day candy. Now, it's unfortunate oh. because we're not in the office, but, Mike, one of the things that I think you, you never... I mean, you worked in sort of like a corporate-y uh like office east area right when you were working for uh the mountain uh no we worked at a restaurant so a restaurant that's what it was yeah yeah mm -hmm. so like but when, when you work in the corporation somehow when the holidays come around just bags of candy show up i don't mm, know how or when candy. and it's one of those things where you're like i feel good about my body right now so i'm gonna eat all these chocolate hearts and yeah. just take them all to the fucking face mm, you like the chocolate heart yeah see that's the best one i was talking with michaela nick last mm -hmm. night and like now you go to the grocery store what do they got they got nothing but valentine's day candies out mm -hmm. for sure mm -hmm. and they're cheap it's exciting you're thinking to yourself man i could buy the assorted chocolates pack right i can get that chocolate and caramel the chocolate and raspberry creme the vanilla creme right like the toffee in there and creme. i'm like ooh, my creme <laughs> you know what i mean you like the creme, creme. kevin creme. Creme. <laughs> i yeah, don't know creme. what the hell you guys like, are talking about creme i like I think a little think accent creme. on the other you gotta but, put a little yeah. accent on it, you know what I mean? Um, but I'm excited about the candy opportunities, Nick. Now, what about the chalky hearts? You know what I mean? Are you into the chalky hearts? What's a chalky heart? What what, what do they call like those? The ones that say words, those? right? That say, the ones like, that say me. words on it. Yeah, they're just giant. Oh, you chalk. mean the actual like the traditional Valentine? Yeah, uh huh, uh huh. What, what are those? What are what my are Valentine? Those? They're just yeah, they're, yeah. That's what I think of when I think of the Valentine's Day heart candies, right? Mm, um, okay, okay. Of course, of course, special place in my heart for those. I grew up, mm. and you would always, you know, if you liked a girl or you like someone, you know, you get you'd give them the one that's like be my Valentine. Oh yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like a, a uh -huh. way, you know, it was a first way of learning how to express yourself and deal with disappointment. Um, 
And so, of course, I, you know, I grew up giving those things to people and being completely rejected. Uh, but I never really <laughs> liked, if I'm being honest, guys, if it's just Circle of Trust, three of us, and Chris Anka. That was, shout out to Chris Anka mm -hmm. for that tier one Thank stuff. You. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. I don't like the taste of these fucking things. I never really. Oh, have. nobody does. Nobody does. Nobody does. They don't taste good. They dry your mouth. Just out. make you know, them out of like Smarties, you know? Smarties yeah, are do great. Something diff, do something Get different. Smarties. Life, Get on the Smarties. Yeah, yeah. The problem is you, 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 you bite into them. You know what it tastes like, Kev? When you accidentally bite into an aspirin, you're like, oh. Mm, I've never oh, done that. Those I've never, suck, don't they? Yeah, what's I've never been into an aspirin. Bro. Take yeah, out an ibuprofen right now and just suck it until all the candy uh, coating's gone and then bite into it and tell me what it feels like. Tell me. Mm, tell me. No, right. uh, yeah, no. You know, Nick, think of a jawbreaker. You ever think of a jawbreaker, Nick, where people just constantly the are licking the side all of a ball time. of sugar? What if they made a giant heart like that where you just had this giant piece of chocolate it would be that horrible. you just licked? You know what I mean? Your what, tongue what about would be that? so dry. It's like licking. Did you ever play pool, Mike? Yeah, I love pool. Remember, love remember pool. the chalk? Remember the chalk thing that you rub on your hand? Like you put a little chalk on your hand. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. What, or like climbing chalk. That's what this thing reminds me of. It's the fucking oh. worst. They're the worst. Now we did do a very what some would say is the defining lollipop episode of the kind of funny podcast mm. last week. Yes, and you I did. brought up. I brought up the 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 strawberry and cream lollipops. The the heart shaped strawberry and cream that you can only get during Valentine's Day. Oh, those are those good. things are the jam. Mm. Yep, the Jimmy Jam, right there. Yep. Yep. I am concerned that Andy put the caramel apple pop so low. Those are definitely the best lollipop, and everybody knows that. They they're suck smacking. your fillings right out there. Well, Every yeah, that's, the, them, that's why they're the best, your because out. you're going to lose some teeth. You know what I mean? you got to be a little risk. Little but contrary risk to, to popular belief, people don't actually like going to the dentist. Kevin, the other week, I had to go to the dentist. Mike's like, what do you got going on this week? I was like, on Wednesday at 11 o'clock, mm. I got to go to the dentist. And Mike said, congratulations. It's going to be a dope Congrats. Wednesday. And I'll tell you one thing right now. Mean it. He, he, just, he just says it because he knows it's, like, dramatic. My dentist, there's no pleasing in this woman. <laughs> okay. And whose fault there's is that? No, there's no pleasing in this woman. I'd say it's 50-50 at this point because I have, I'm, I brush my teeth a lot. I brush my teeth go. two to three times a day. Do I floss? See? Depends on, it depends on your definition of flossing, right? Hard no. Okay. Hard that's a hard that, no. That's, that's a hard a problem. No, right? That's a problem. So I go in the other week and we get three, you know, we get to the point where she's about to floss the teeth and she's like, you know, Nick, you're looking really good. Like, I don't see any problem areas. Like, congratulations. And then we floss the teeth. Oh, I, I know, Mike. I'm excited. I'm excited. Exactly. Heck then, we, yeah. then we floss the teeth, right? And she's got that right here. And these, these two teeth right here, she's getting in there, right? She's getting in there, getting in there. Mm -hmm. And then she pulls it out and she goes, do you have your phone with you? I'm like, yeah. She goes, pull out the phone. I want to show you something. I want, to, I want you to like flip the, the camera so you can see. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, and yeah. I was like, I'm like, um, okay. And then she goes, no, I, never mind. I'll just get a mirror so you can look into it. Yeah, why would she hit you a mirror? What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. She's trying to be on his level. She's trying to be on his level. She was Nick's a lot, a lot younger. Was, she wanted to make okay, sure exactly. that he knew he wasn't I mean, photoshopping. She wasn't exactly. photoshopping. Okay, 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 okay. So I take the mirror out and she goes, she goes, see those, your, your gums right there uh -huh. are a little inflamed. You got to hit those with the little with the brush a little bit yep. more. Mm -hmm. And she's like, a, you know, I just, it's like, uh, she's like a coach, like a good coach. You got know, it. like when you played sports, like a good coach would always give you praise, but there's always room for improvement. And it's just so disappointing. I, one of these days, I'm like, I just want a gold medal. I want to go in there and get the gold medal and go, you know, do my stand. When I think I'm done you, I think you need to that floss if that's the case. It. Then, yeah, like, Kevin, that's just not going to happen. Well, you know what? I'm, he needs I'm well aware. I'm well, let's just, I'm well let's just aware. Let's get him a water pick. Let's get him a water pick. If you don't want to floss, you get the water pick. Like it's the same thing. It's the, that everybody is, loves the water pick. Uh, you just sit there I, and just first of all, water only your mouth. one it's person what? I've met like has ever used the water pick. And that's Fran. And that person, and it scares great. me. Look at Fran; he has a great set of teeth. Great set of uh, he could bite through a metal can, no problem, <laughs> no problem. I'll, I'll say, I'm just gonna brush that area more and see what happens next time. Because I'm not okay. convinced you well, got a well, floss. I think you no, can just no. brush. I got one of those mechanical toothbrushes. You know what I started? I don't think, I, it I don't we, think we that works that way. I, and I just I'm gonna hit that spot four or five more times a hit day, it. okay, and okay. just see what happens. Because I, don't I like think I don't like overbrush. The, well, flossing <laughs> feels horrible. But brushing with a mechanical toothbrush feels like you're giving your teeth a little bit of a massage. And mm. I really, I, I just, mm. I melt away into it. And when, Mike, when, when the toothbrush ends, when it goes, 
and stops vibrating, mm. I get yeah. disappointed. Mm. I'm like, oh, it's over. I'm about to buy Nick Scarpino a water pick just so everybody. I won't use it. He won't use it. It's all right. Give it to your loving wife then. She no, can use she'll it. Take it. She'll take it. She'll throw like it out. I'll tell you one thing about. I'll, I'll tell you <laughs> one thing about. Throw it out the water pick. I'll tell you what. I'll tell. You, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be blatantly honest with you. Anything that comes in this house that's not Danielle approved will get thrown out. <laughs> it will get thrown out, and that's yep. why. That's and why you talking about. That's yeah, Nick's I fault. Look, you know. Yeah, that's my fault. That's I, gotta put, I gotta put look books together for my wife or things that I'm gonna buy that's gonna go in our mm. space. Mm -hmm. And she'll just look, look and just books. go. She won't even give me like a verbal yeah, yes or no. She'll just shake her head. Mm, mm. Mm, mm. And I'll know okay. that, that that if I buy that thing, it's not long for this world. It's just a waste of money. Okay. So okay. really what I need to do is become an adult and start flossing more. But mm. I just I can't bring myself to do it. I'm like, I'm already two minutes in on this too. I mean, I got Seinfeld episodes to watch, Mike. There's Fortnite to play. You later. bring you see you see if you watched more movies on your phone like I do, you would bring your phone into the bathroom and it would sit on the shelf and you'd brush your teeth while watching Seinfeld. I do that every single day. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you if y'all just adapted to the phone life like me, you would have that going on. But Nick Scarpino, we want to give a big shout out to Ghost Eyes for the Prime Gaming sub for 29 months we got a lot to talk about we got a lot to jump into so running through the housekeeping of course we got a brand new line of merch up over on the rooster teeth store right now designed by one of you incredible kind of funny mm -hmm. best friends kakos kakos oh wait i love always saying that name wrong man, man. she Hold appreciates on. it Someone's but uh thank here. you to katie out here for designing an incredible line of merch that you can go buy over on rooster teeth you've probably seen a number of kind of funny members already wearing their merch right now and i've seen Love some of the merch. kind of funny community rocking the merch right now but i'll tell you what it looks good and kevin i think we might have some reviews to maybe jump on and check out if you want to bring up one of them but it looks like we got some scoring over on a couple of them you got a brand new crop top you got a hoodie you got two long sleeves that are just clean and good looking and of course you got a brand new white tee oh yup in my white tee uh, looks like we got two reviews on that, Kevin. Anybody wrote down anything nice on our reviews on the Rooster Teeth store today? Normalized crop tops for men. This is so soft and warm while allowing a welcome breeze. Wish there were more crop top hoodies for men out there. Well, thank you. That's by Goody from Missouri or Montana, the, the verified thing. buyer. I appreciate the that, that. The thing that people don't understand. <laughs> Missouri or Montana? <laughs> Missouri. Yeah. Uh, uh, not quite sure. Because it's yeah, MO, you know, right? It's one of those out there. What's, <laughs> what's Montana? What, MN? I think Montana's it, MN, right? Oh, yeah. is it? Okay. okay is that right? Okay. No, MT. I thought that was going to be Montana. MT. Mon oh, Montana. <laughs> Montana. Because Missouri, Montana, Mississippi. What's Mississippi? MO. Yeah, MO. Okay. MO isn't Missouri. <laughs> is somebody in chat. And Which you know what? I believe him. I believe it. Yeah, we don't know. Anything. MN guys, is guys... Minnesota. All right. Can you tell us what Missouri is, please? Yeah, come on, chat. Stop Missouri's MO people are us. writing in. Oh, okay. So I nailed it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, we nailed it. We pushed that P. What's Montana? Montana MT? Uh, Montana, Montana is MT. MT. Abbreviation. Uh-huh. I love this sweater MT. so much. Minnesota so MN, a, Mississippi MS. Mm. Oh, I would have said MI. Wow. M, yeah, I would have put MS. Okay, MS. Missouri MO. Why is Missouri MO? Why mm -hmm. is Missouri not MI? Oh, look, There's we have so a photo. Many, so many wow, we have a photo Missouri. here coming in from Dean from NJ out there. Right, my new favorite. This shirt is perfect. Super soft. Fits great. And I love the minimalistic KF design. Highly recommend. You look very good out there photo. dean great job way to rock it way to elevate that give them a like on that review we appreciate you and of course shout out to the incredible community for designing our first line of brand new merch coming your way here for 2022 so go check out the merch remember roosterteeth.com slash store if you want to buy any awesome cool kind of funny gear really really good looking uh long sleeves and gear out here a lot of people saying super comfy i like comfy clothes nick you see mm -hmm. me Rocking the gaming jerseys all the time. I like comfy clothes. Kevin, I'm a little so-so on my new uh, gaming polo from mm. Hunted Thieves. I'm not sure if I'm quite sold on that. It's wait, like that kind of thicker wait, and heavier. Comfort? comfort? Yeah, comfort factor doesn't... Got it's it. not going to be comfy. It's not going to be what I want. How does it look on, though? I don't know. I haven't put it on. It's still in the bag. It's two in the bag. There's two in the bag. They just sit there. Yeah, We've go grab really quick. Into... Slap it on. Yeah, go, go Show grab mine. that. Your <laughs> take your shirt off on stream also really quick before before you guys leave do we like me hat on or hat off 
I like the head on. I like, I like the head on. on. You got to stay. For a second, you got to stay wait. warm. When you when I was looking at you, I thought it was just a like a like a mm-hmm. red Norman Osborn. Uh, Osborn. Oh, from wait. Peter Pan or mm-hmm. uh, Spider Man. Mm-hmm. Peter Parker. Peter Parker. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Peter I Parker. called him Peter mm-hmm. Parker. I don't but know. But from Spider Man. Uh, some yeah. more housekeeping news that you need to know about. This is from Andy. So a personalized message for all of you from Andy today. <laughs> January 31st at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on twitch.tv slash Andy Cortez. The Nitro Rifle will be competing against other streamers in the official TurboTax Expert Invitational. Will he get unlucky and have to play Overcooked? Or will his first-person shooter skills come into play with Halo or Apex Legends? Tune in to Twitch dot tv slash andy cortez at 3 p.m pacific time today to find out and cheer him on and guess what kind of funny best friends he needs your support because the chat out there the twitch chat is gonna have to bring their gaming knowledge there's gonna be a quiz throughout the stream and the more points you all get correct the more points Andy gets to move on in the turbo tax invitational so please go out there and support Andy that's at 3 p.m today and one more that you need to know about Nick Scarpino. Tonight, mm-hmm. our good friend, friend of the show, Khalif Adams uh, from Spawn on Me is hosting the official Spawnies Award Show. This is his first ever award show, Nick, and he has gone all out on the Spawnies. There are incredible awards like you're seeing right now on display. He has a full set of custom controllers made by friend of the show, Pope Arts, that he will send out to all the developers who wins and this is a big deal for Khalif and the team so if you have the time 6 p.m tonight go check out Khalif and the Spawnies over on twitch.tv slash spawn on me go support awesome stuff and especially Khalif Adams because he does incredible stuff all right that's fun yeah, yeah I'm, gonna one... say about, I'm gonna say this about supporting Andy stream later mm. first off, oh Spawnies. okay Spawnies great name Khalif great idea the logo fantastic I want to win one of those yes second off we have to help Andy win this thing because I don't know if you guys have followed this channel. Chad, if you're, if you're listening to my voice right now, I want you to sound off if this is your first time watching us. If this is your absolute first time watching us and you, came, you happened into this not knowing what's going on. Because mm. I want to school you on a couple of things here. We're winners. Okay. Winners. True. Winners. You've been known to but fill a ballot box. We don't deserve to win. No, and we, we don't cheat. really yeah. do the work to win. 100%. But we still expect to win. Absolutely. And a lot of that is because of you all out there. You're the ones that help power this rigged election. Um, mm. And we wouldn't be anything without you. So please tune into that stream with Andy. Let's help him win. Because if he somehow ends up beating bigger streamers, I will never let them not know that. I will never mm. let that go. Mm. Mm-hmm. And that's because mm-hmm. of you. And I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but it's going to make me feel really good for a hot second until I forget the joke. It's Never definitely bad, and it. he's going to forget yeah. quick. It's probably Remember, not worth you, your time, but it'll time make we him feel good play, for a bit. We were supposed to play Smash Brothers in Toronto against, like, real streamers, and I talked so much shit that the guy wanted to beat Hungry my Hungrybox, yep. Yeah, yeah uh-huh. he really wanted to beat he my He didn't actually want to. He wasn't actually mad at He you, was going to check Nick. He was going to do the one where you walk up to somebody and you shoulder check him on the way up to yeah. the stage. That's probably what would have happened there. I would have gotten a little – I got a little bit – well, first off, no. Real talk, he was really nice, really nice. Oh, okay. Okay. But he definitely <laughs> he's really he's a really nice guy. I don't want I don't want to talk shit about the guy, but he was he was really cool. But I was talking a lot of shit to the point yeah, where Yeah, like it was too much. What do you keep calling him? Hungry uh, hungry eyes. Hungry eyes. Yeah. That's right. What was his real name? Hungry box. I think hungry he proved it honestly. I'm being, yeah, that's what I'm being, <laughs> dude, I'm I'm being honest. That's great. You're a gamer, you got hungry eyes, man. It's good. Mm-hmm. You're out you're looking you're looking hungry to fucking eyes. eat. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I like that. I anyway, like tune that. into Andy's stream, tune into the Spawnies. we got a fun day of content mm-hmm. for you guys right now. Yeah. And man, I tell you what, we were talking about some interesting stuff before the show started. Yeah. Snowbike Mike is the most fascinating human being on the planet. I wish mm. I could put you in a museum. I wish mm. I could make your house just all glass walled so people could pay money to see how you live and Observe what you, you do on a daily life. Because it's like, it's like that episode of Star Trek where Captain Kirk like, got put in a cell and they're like, we're just going to, like, he's in a museum. We're just going to look at him because he's so fascinating to everyone around here. Of course, spoilers, I think Hook, uh, Kirk ended up hooking up with uh, one of the yeah, other people in the cell. People. And oh, then, wow. Yeah, he, banged, he banged. And then they got out because Kirk just banged. 
Mike, you're fascinating, and you've got some shoes behind you that I want to talk about. Is it now the time to talk about these shoes? I mean, we can bring up the shoes. So, yeah, let's talk about the, the shoes, Nick. Quality drops As so you much, know, you know I mean? uh, mm. our goal, Nick, for 2022 is to step out of the comfort bubble. It's to elevate the fashion, right? And so everybody took offense, Nick, and this is the circle of trust. This is our bubble, you, me, and Kevin right here. Everybody was like, oh, Mike, you only have one pair of shoes? That's insane. Right, I work out in the shoes. I hike in the shoes. I go to the club in the shoes. I go to dinners in the shoes. Right, I only right. got one pair of shoes because I only need one pair of shoes. Right, but everybody was bumping their gums, teasing me. So I went out and bought three pairs of shoes, Nick. Okay. And so, Kevin, if you'll bring up on some of the uh, on the Nike store, I'll show you. I went out of my comfort zone, Nick, on this pair of shoes, and I want to talk about it. These shoes I've never worn. I've always worn running shoes or basketball shoes. So I've never worn anything like this. It's very reminiscent of the Air Force One. Uh, Kevin, what this is on one of the ones I sent Kevin. Air, Air Force also, Ones. No, no that's not that, showing those. That's a different one. I'm showing that's a different this one. one he's, Kevin. he's showing the bla- they, they look it, like blazers got or blazers. Yeah, blazers. It's got this felt, blazers. felt toe tip right here. Those are and in, man. And it's black. I've never worn a black shoe before, Nick. I've always worn white. So this is a very interesting choice that I made here. Dude, I, so I have friends that wear, first off, the high top blazers, dope. Those are super cool. They're very in right now. Um, I have tried on the low tops. They're very comfortable shoes. I think you're okay. going to be very happy with those. Yeah, those are sick. The white and on black, the, and the black on white combo are, those are lit right there. Those are lit. Okay, because yeah. I'm going to buy the white pair. I'm going to get four pairs of shoes, and that's where I'm going to stop. I'm going to buy the white pair. So I have everyday shoes. I have some nice going out shoes. Uh, but I will buy the white pair because I feel like white. Which, which shoes ones are your going go a little out bit shoes? better? The black ones, probably. Yeah, those black and white ones will be. So, I, Kevin, if you go to you the other those black link, black and white ones, the club. Mm-hmm, I also bought uh, running shoes, of those course, because you need active wear shoes if you're going to go work out or hike around. So these will be my new active wear shoes right here that you'll see. What color combo did you get? That black one right there. I like. I those just are, like the easy black. I think they look I cool. I love these. These teal and oh, those mm-hmm. are sick. Yeah, those are really sick, actually. Yep, I need yep. a new. I need a new pair. I have. A, I have an all white pair of Adidas, and uh, the other day I went and worked out in a park, and I came back, and man, let me tell you, grass stains are fucking real. I thought those things went out in the '80s, but apparently you can still get grass stains on your shoes if you fuck around and get caught up in it. Mm. And so, mm. of course, we're working our way up to the final purchase, Nick, which mm. I know you're eager to I'm talk so about with you, and me, and Kevin. And that is, you know, being up here in Tahoe, I've always wanted a pair of hiking boots but i've hated hiking boots from the morels yeah. to whatever shoes you can imagine because they're heavy they're ugly they're brown yeah. i don't want to wear them right so i've always worn uh my just nike running shoes in the snow even in feet of snow i've shoveled feet hundreds of feet of snow in just nike uh running shoes but mm-hmm. today i went out and purchased these dope air Those force one incredible. utility shoes right so these are dope boots they're heavy they're nice they give me the kind of like Timberland look, yeah. but also just uh, Nike Air Force Ones. But there's a catch, Nick. There's a catch. These aren't men's. Uh-huh. These are women's shoes. Okay. And so I might have had to figure out what size I am in a women's shoe. Do you know what okay, size so you are in a, a women's shoe? Yeah, it's just, just off by up. two, right? Yeah, I think you're off by two. I think it's like so two and a half. Might be. Oh, is that right? Uh, well, I'm a nine and a half. I had to buy 11. That sounds so that was right. my guess. You had to buy a women's 11 and your, women's your shoe 11. is a nine and a half. Uh huh. So I was lucky because they had them on sale still, as you can see on the website. Uh, and you know, so what's I, funny is like, these are, I mean, I think this, first off, I think these are dope and I think in all white, they're going to look incredible, but yeah, these but are going to get like, really have, dirty. Yeah. Really they're going to get super fucking dirty in the snow, but who cares? Cause you can probably clean. I mean, the predominantly you got that nice rubber heel or the sole on it that you can clean mm-hmm. off pretty easily, but the leather itself is going to get a little, messed up you think so no i mean in the snow but i mean they are you they are a boot so i mean am i gonna try on these women's shoes in front of you right now yes i am i'd like you to yes i am i'm gonna tell you you if if they fit or not and if we have an issue you know what's the middle one there these pink ones they're just black they're black they're sold out. i like those pink ones i should have bought those ones are kind of cool the pink ones are intense those are a little too intense for me no it's so delicate it looks like pate Oh, it does. You look got those like big white day. socks. Thank you. Yeah, hell yeah, brother, for you. It's. I'm surprised that you never went the Timberland route because Timberland. I like those boots. I have I a pair. Of, I have a pair of North Face. You took like uh, hiking boots mm. that I wear in the snow mm. sometimes. 
that I was actually super disappointed with because I got them wet a little bit and I went uh-huh. to pull them on and the little tag that on the back that helps you pull them up. Ripped. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, and I was like, huh. that's not good. And I was like, that's I feel not like good. That's I had a conversation to my... someone. Of... Yeah. I mean, that's uh, definitely a North face boot problem. I'm like, have you guys, you guys don't actually use these boots to do anything. Cause this tag needs to be sewn in here a lot better. I had my guy sew, sew, sew it back in. You, you have a shoe guy. Yeah. A, a boot shoe guy man, sew it back if in. you will. Yeah. There was an old Russian guy. I don't know if he's there anymore down in the Marina that had one of those shoe stores where it was like, it yeah. was like right next it's to a drug like bougie fight. salad place. Across from it was like bougie coffee place. Then you had like the high end sushi his, place. His days and then you had the Russian boot shoemaker guy that like you'd walk in and it was floor to ceiling with old people, like people's old shoes. And yeah. he never got it done. He was like, I'll get this done in 10 weeks. I'm like, what Ooh. fucking kind of business do you run? But he did it. He fixed them. And I still wear Ooh. them to this day. I've worn them three times. I I've been trying to like I've I've been trying on new shoes. I got a gift card to Zappos, and mm. uh, Mike, I got really like wide. Happy my guess. Yeah, I know he likes. They're a little tight. They're a little tight, but they fit. I was worried, Nick, that they weren't gonna fit. And you know me, I don't return stuff, so I was just gonna put them up on the wall. Uh, Mike. Why would you do that, Mike? You could return it and then get the you size that fits. Yeah, just return it. Get you the go size that fits. one size higher. Go a half size yeah, without putting your foot. I have bought many of things and I've never returned them. Oh, so, well, you know. God damn you, Mike. You live cl- so close to a post office, though. <laughs> that's just how it goes. It's what probably a free nice. return. Oh, I'm sure it's a free return. Everything's a free return. Uh, they're tied up on the top of my foot. And I think that maybe just like loosen up the laces a little bit, but like tightness on the toe, not tight. Just a little bit up on the top of your foot. Oh, like, yeah. You, give well, that's because it's a boot too, so you might be able to just break that. In. My question is: Are your front toes grammed into the the front of it, or do you no, have nice little half they inch feel space? Nice. They feel then great. you're probably okay. You might, you might, and then they're hard leather. Matt Batson in the in the chat brings up a really good point. He he says I need to join the Air Force One crew because that lift is magical. I've tried on Air Force Ones three times, Matt Batson, and I just can't. Mm. I can't do it for some reason. What's crazy is I see them on other people, and I'm like, that shoe looks so fucking cool, and I want yeah. the two inch lift. Because, Kevin, I don't know if you noticed that the Air Force Ones, like, Mike's got the utility boot version of them. But the Air yeah. Force One has, like, a fucking inch and a half of sole. It makes, mm-hmm. look at those. Oh, Mike, those are incredible. Dude, with the socks, too? No. Mike, what are you going to do? What are you going to do when you walk through a Starbucks? And it's you and a bunch of 16-year-old girls wearing those shoes. I'm going to give them the nod, like, respect. Like, what's up? Respect. Game, respect, no. game, bro. That's it. Those are incredible, Mike. Those are incredible. Yo, these are nice. These are way better than I thought they would be. Nike okay. makes a good shoe, man. Well, this is good because I'm sick of walking around in my Nikes through feet of snow and getting my toes all wet. So I am excited to have a boot, you know what I mean? Well, a long I mean, time. are these any more waterproof more than yours? Shoe. Yeah, oh, I, I don't think that I would never describe well, these no, as a they're boot. Well, no, they're more waterproof than a, they're more waterproof than a Nike running shoe. 100%. Oh sure, I guess sure. Yeah, that's running, what I Mikey wear running all the time. Shoe, yeah. Yeah. Running shoe. Because the Nike running shoes have like the perfect the mesh. Yeah, the, they the want mesh. you to air air out. You know. Yeah, and this is a hard leather, so you're going to get a little bit more water resistance in here. But I'm, I'm, you know, you're not getting like that that new buck suede like coated texture that you get on some of the hiking boots that kind of you know they protect you for a season or two from the weather. But mm. I want everybody yeah. to know I'm about to buy a second pair of these. I haven't no, even worn these yet. I'm just gonna buy a second. My, pair wear them like, first because yeah, they might wear be them idiotically, first. Why are they might uncomfortable? Idiotically uncomfortable. You gotta have two. You gotta always have two. Why do you, Mike? <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it, Mike. Uh, so yeah, that's a uh, that's my shoe buying stuff right now. I've bought three pairs of shoes because you know I'm sick of just having one pair. Everybody was teasing me, and so now I have three pairs. No, no, people weren't looking. teasing you. They were just like, "That's weird." How do we feel? About, I need a new puffer, guys. And I know we no, we don't normally shop on this show, but I need a new puffer. I don't know what the fuck a puffer is. <laughs> now, what's a puffer? You mean like a North Face puffy jacket? Yeah, I need a North. You guys know what a fucking puffer is. A puffy we should go. Puffer. We should Nobody just go to the, the, the North Face. Everyone outlet. calls it a puffer. No Nobody ever, calls it a puffer. I don't think Everybody. anyone's ever called it a puffer. Not once. Nobody it's calls it a puffer. If you click, if you Google puffer jacket, you'll no, you will no, no, no. Nah, look how you'll you add a jacket at the end. Here. He had a jacket. Yeah, he had a jacket. Don't it's add a puffer. Jacket. Look at Type in Google puffer. You'll see. No, well, jacket <laughs> automatically pu- came up afterwards. Exactly. You know why? Because the two are synonymous. You say puffer, you say jacket. The first thing I think when you say He's jacket. He's right. If you puffer. Google puffer, that's what happens. 
Yeah, really? Really? Covers. really? Some people in the chat I, are the, saying. The style, so the, the style of the jacket changes, but if it's puffy, you can call it a puffer. But then it you seems, know, it you seems a... like an offensive term is all I'm saying. No, mm. no, 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 no. You're thinking there's a couple other ones that sound like that, but no, puffer is, mm-hmm, is, mm-hmm. is a very safe term. I, I assure everyone, I live in San Francisco. We are the authority on what's good and what's not to say. Mm, mm, so we're fine. Mm. We're fine. Here. Okay. Okay. I like that. Also, right. as a puffer fish, like I find it a little offensive. As a puffer oh, fish? yes, he's a puffer fish. You're a puffer fish. I call him a goldfish. He oh, didn't like her. that. You're a goldfish. That's not a puffer fish. This is a puffer fish. Look at my little spikes. No, you just got some sort of rash on you. No, no, no. Right, no, no, no. right, right because your, your pastor hasn't cleaned the bowl out. Look, your look, owner look, hasn't look, cleaned look. the bowl out. No, 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 no. I'm a puffer. I'm a puffer. This is a puffer. Gotta fish. clean it out. So you're saying, Nick, you need a new one. Don't everybody doesn't everybody just go with the traditional all black? Yes. Are you telling me don't... you're gonna go you're gonna variate from the all black? Well, so I had for the longest time I had a really I've worn it on a lot of content too. My favorite jacket ever I bought from Nordstrom. It was a all black uh North Face puffier jacket, right? Like a down jacket. I think it was uh-huh, like, I don't uh-huh. think I don't think it was down. I think it was like, you know, uh whatever faux down is. Uh yeah, yeah. You know, doesn't matter. It was very, very warm. Perfect weight. For San Francisco, right? Mm. Wear it out. It's a little cold outside, or if it gets real cold, you're like, I can, I can, I can weather the storm. That's incredible. I'll you should do this. Now, now, you now yeah, this there's sure. there's a difference in the puffy jackets, Nick, that we need to talk about. There's the fat puffy coats that Kevin just brought up, and right. then there's like this leaner style that North ultra thin. Puts out. There's that's the ultra that's thin like ones. lean and thin because you know I grew up with the big ones. I need a new ultra thin one because okay. I have I have now. The reason I bought this one was because. It's a black North Face jacket, but the logo itself is also black. So it's black on black, mm, kind of black like on a, black. Mm. It's nice. It was super cool. And like you look at it, and you go, oh, it's a North Face jacket, but it doesn't it doesn't pop so much when you're walking around. Now they don't sell it anymore, though. Mm. Now all the black North Face jackets have the big, bright white North Face in the yep. front and the back of them, and it's kind of like I don't know how I feel about that. So I got to go, I got to do some deep research. But the problem is, like I've washed it so many times, it's turned brown. Yeah, uh-huh. and I just made fun of D. Because one of her jackets was brown, and I was teasing her about it. And then I looked at mine next to hers, and I was mm-hmm. like, oh, no, mine's, like, pink almost. It's so fucking brown. It's mm. so brown that it's now in the copper family, Kevin. Like, you know what I mean? It's gone it's got full. So now yeah. i got to get rid of this damn thing. I've had it for 10 years. It's a great jacket. North Face, great product. Makes a great product. A lot of people in the chat yeah. didn't think that. They were saying stuff against North Face. Really? They don't oh, like really? North Face? I like, I like mm-hmm. North Face because I'm up on the mountains, right? Columbia, North Face, Patagonia. You know what I mean? That means we're going to get a vanilla latte. We're walking around the village, maybe going ice skating later. You know what I mean? Like people mm, like that. Mm. People are all about that. Mike, I want to do all that you just said. You know what I mean? Like I want to get a vanilla latte and go ice skating with you. That sounds Nick, so here's fun. the deal. Here's what we should do, Nick. We should make yeah. some great content. Bring Kevin up. We go out for a nice afternoon, right? We wake up in the morning. We go get some breakfast. Then we walk the village shops. We stop in Patagonia, right? We shop around. We get ourselves some nice Patagooch jackets. And then maybe we go hit the slopes for an afternoon. Maybe we go maybe we go ice skating. Like we can do all that. Here's we can do I'd all love, that. Here's what I'd love to do. I'd love to go up to uh to North Star with you, right? Mm, North Star. Okay. California luxury, they call it, y'all. Right. Yeah. Or uh what's the new one? What's the new one? Uh it's Pacific Palisades, Pacific Palisades right? Yeah, mm-hmm. not squad anymore, is right. Not squad. We, we call it the Palisades now. One of yeah. them has a Patagooch and it has the I think it's I think it's Palisades has the Patagooch. It's got the nice warm Starbucks. I call it the warm Starbucks because it's mm. warm in there all the time. And then they have the ice skating ring in the middle. Oh, and yeah. they got a little tiny yeah. movie theater. So what I think we do is we they go do. there. That's North we Star. buy each other the most expensive pad of Gooch jackets we can find. Love that. Swipe, swipe the card. card. Expense comes yeah, swipe, swipe the card. Swipe Tim's card. We go ice skating a little bit with our lattes that they'll let us on the ice with it, right? Um, mm, we'll we'll try to teach Mike how to stop because I know he doesn't know how to stop when he comes to ice skating. He's got to do the pizza yeah. french fry thing. Uh, and then afterward, Mike's going to go, let's hit the slopes. And I go, oh, or we could just go get a large popcorn, a large Diet Coke, and go watch a couple movies. We'll just sneak into a couple movies. It'll be good. That sounds I'm like, like fun. I'm liking this vision. Afterward. I'm and liking this vision. Game I'd love to do 4K that. gaming nook. That sounds like a blast. Ooh, kind of funny, best friends. If you'd like to game in the 4K gaming nook, maybe one day you could. But until that day, remember, if you're subscribed at the tier one through three level or with Prime mean? Gaming, you don't got to watch ads. But. If you aren't subscribed, you're going to get hit with a block of Twitch ads. Remember, you are supporting us here on Kind of Funny. If you subscribe at that tier one through three level, if you give yeah, subs, if you drop bits, or if you use your Amazon Prime, you can help fill up that bar. Our monthly goal is five. And if we hit five goals, we're going to bring back another Mike and Nick's 80s action movie night. Of course, if you've missed out on any of the Mike and Nick's 
80s action movie nights. Guess what? You can look back on the Twitch archives and you can actually watch every single one of them up to this point right now. That's eight movie nights already that you can watch and enjoy. We've had awesome guests from Blaine. We've had Tamor. We've had James and Elise. You don't want to miss out on that. So if you're subscribed here, you're supporting us. If you're not subscribed, don't worry. You're going to watch this block of Twitch ads and you'll help us and support us by watching those ads. So enjoy. And uh, with that, remember, don't forget Twitch uh, chat. We'll also be doing a fun segment called Fun Clips. And if you have fun clips that you would like to submit to me, Nick, and Kevin to try to pass through the Great Wall of Mike, you can donate $5 or drop 500 biddies with a link. And I will check that out as we continue on with our show. Kevin, let's jump into the news. Okay, let's jump into the news. We got a big one here, Kevin and Nick. Okay. Jason Momoa confirmed yeah. Yeah. as Fast and the Furious 10's villain. The updates coming from Logan Plant of IGN says updated at 2.05 p.m. on 128, and it's official. The Fast Saga Twitter account has confirmed Jason Momoa will be in the upcoming Fast 10. Quote, the Fast fam keeps getting bigger. Welcome, Jason Momoa, end quote. The franchise official Twitter account says, along with a nice, beautiful glamour shot of Jason. Look now at his hair. it's like blowing in the wind. We couldn't get the rock back. So we went up and with some incredible hair with Momoa. What do you think about this one? I think it's a fun addition to the cast. I mean, look, Fast and Furious is not like they play fast and loose with all this stuff. I love Jason Momoa. I think he's super fun. Loved him in Dune. Loved him as the Aquaman. Oh, he's so um, cool. I think it's great. I think that the now Aquaman. that Momoa's in this, let's just leave The Rock alone. Let's mm, stop okay. trying to get The Rock into this thing. He doesn't want to do this anymore. He's tired of Vin Diesel. And let's be perfectly honest, The Rock is mostly just hawking his brands now. So mm. we can just let him do that. Let him hawk the Terramana tequila. Let yep. him hawk those yep. terrible energy drinks that he's selling that I'm sure I'll become addicted to one of these days. Just let him be a billionaire, okay? That's what he wants to be. He doesn't want to be in your stupid movie anymore, Vin Diesel. So yep. get someone who yep. does want to be in your movie that's jacked out of his mind, just like Jason Momoa, and I'm sure he'll bring some fun energy to it. Yes, and I'll will. enjoy the shit out of it. Just like when they were like, who is the best person we possibly could get for Fast and Furious, for, to be the bad guy in Fast and Furious 6 or 7. I think it was 6. But mm. how about Charlize Theron? And someone's like, mm. Charlize Theron is so much better than this series. It's not even funny. And then mm. they just threw bags of money at her. Until, and she was like, what if I wear this terrible wig? And they were like, yes. Awful wig. Yes. <laughs> Awful she's like, wig. fine, I'll do it. I'll do it's it. It's fine. And, then, and, to, and to make it right, like, like, I'll cut my hair in the next one. Yeah, I have to cut my I'll, hair. I'll, make, I'll do the I'll do the Charlize Theron cut for the next one, which is like that shirt, like that short cut that she does is so cool looking. So you know, Jason Momoa, love him. Well, who doesn't love little Jason Momoa in, his, in their franchise? Mm -hmm. If I can put mm -hmm. Jason Momoa on our podcast in a heartbeat, I do. He's a great guy, super great guy. This is, a, this is a good pickup. This is exciting. I do want to see what he is like as the villain, right? We've seen Jason really as the hero in most of his recent work. So, like, what does he look like as the villain? And it, are him and Dom just going to come to blows, right? I want to see just the fist fight between these two rock hard bodies. Okay, oh. that's what I'm looking for. Well, I mean, one of them's rock hard. The other one <laughs> posts on Instagram a lot. But uh, I'm sure they're going to do what they always do, right? Where like the bad guy's not really the bad guy. There'll be two bad guys, oh. and this guy's actually going to turn out to be Dom's like half brother from another mother or something. You don't think crazy he's related like to the that. Rock? He maybe I'm sure he's another Hobbs, right? He's Hobbs two or something like uh -huh. that. They always got to make the bad. Like remember John Cena at the end of the other one? You're like, oh, he's actually like spoilers. He's not the bad guy. He's like a bro whatever. I love Fast and Furious. Keep making them. I'll keep watching them. Uh, this is the but last one, right? They're gonna make more. They gotta make more. What else uh... does Vin Diesel have? It's this and the Chronicles of Riddick, and he, the Chronicles of Riddick is hard. That requires him to be put in like costumes. <laughs> And this, he could just wear sleeveless white oh t-shirts. Oh, my God. Imagine showing boots. up the set and just being so free. You know what I mean? Hey, what's the outfit of the day? Well, here's your crop top. It's like, okay, cool. You know what I mean? He just would hate time. me so much because if I was a big star and he cast me in his movie, I would try and figure out what he was going to wear every day and show up on set in that. Just like, like a little version of Vin Diesel with more hair and way less arms and way less panache. So you think Jason Momoa will turn and become part of the family? 100%. So who will be the overarching villain still? 
probably Charlize Theron yeah. again, yeah, or Charlize whoever's coming okay. back. You know, okay. she's still the big baddie in this a lot. You know, her and everyone's like, "What do you want?" She's like, World domination. It's so boring. But I'm sure it'll be a dumb plot, and they'll go to space, and they'll go to the moon, and they'll go through a fucking black hole or whatever. And some aliens, and it'll be perfect. Uh oh. Yeah, what did they? They went to they went to space last time, right? They went to space. They went to space last time. Well, Luke and, and Tyrese went to space. Okay. Um, and it was the best part of any of the Fast and Furious movies. Mm. And it made no sense, and I don't care. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you to Sell and Air for the 500 biddies along with that fun clip. We will take a look at that one in just a little bit. And also, big thank you to uh, Private Teens, Private, Private, Private Teens, Private Ends. I don't know. Private, thank you so much for the $5 donation along with your fun clip. We'll take a look at that one. This one I put in the news, Nick. Because it brings back a lot of memories, and this is something mm-hmm. I want to watch only with you. Thanks. Okay. You know what I mean, I want you to hold my nice hand day. and help me get through this because you know that the Texas Chainsaw Massacre has a big place in my heart, and uh, is the reason why I sleep with the television on still to this yeah. day. It sense. looks like the t- new Texas Chainsaw Massacre trailer has uh, hit. Uh, this coming from GameSpot. Uh, this is a so a new trailer for the latest installment in the long-running Texas Chainsaw Massacre series has been released. The film, the film simply titled Texas Chainsaw Massacre, arrives on Netflix on February 18th. So there's a couple of questions before we look at this one. Nick, one, mm-hmm. why? Why do we got to go back to this guy of all people? You know what I mean? Why can't to we go back face? to five? Cre- yeah, why this guy? This guy, this guy, me and him, we don't get along well. Um, because Netflix right now needs a ton of content, and Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a known, a known brand, a known quantity, mm. as you as you would. And uh, horror movies are really easy to make on the cheap. And I'm okay. sure they just want to, you know, they probably they just licensed it out and want to make it and throw it on their platform and. People who are super into it will watch it. I will never watch it. I'm not a huge fan mm. of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I've seen the original. Never saw the reboot. Um, don't really, yeah, I don't know. doesn't really hit on the level for me. Doesn't hit, okay, it is interesting. So Netflix bringing it back. My next question is Netflix, right? Yeah. Now, do you think when we talk about horror, Nick, there's a certain level of horror, right? There's like great horror. There's just good, fun, campy horror, right? But like to ascend to the level of great horror, can Netflix do that, right? Can a can a subscription service make great horror, or does it have to be a big time like television net network, or does it have to be a movie? Like, can this hit, Nick? Um, it definitely can. It definitely can. Um, I don't think it's that hard to make a great horror movie as far as like mm. making a scary movie. So let me back up. It's not hard to make a good scary movie, right? Mm. Jump scares, things like that, pretty easy, right? You, you rely on silence, you rely on the dark, and yada, yada, yada. But to make a movie that truly transcends, because I can count mm. on my hands, like, Transcends. the amount of, of horror or thriller movies I've seen in the last 10 years that I really, really am like, oh, they're bringing something unique and like different Baba to the Duke. game. Exactly like Baba Duke, my favorite movie. Oh, um, Huh? I've never seen it. That's a joke from a from a podcast. Right. Um, but like, right. I think of movie. I think of movies like It Follows. I think of okay. movies that are like using the horror genre. Like you've got the two types of horror movies. You've got like the It Follows, where I'm like, oh, this is actually something pretty clever they're doing here, right? I've, a lot of people liked Hereditary. I never saw it. It looked way too scary. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Those movies. Those terrifying. are movies that like really elevate the genre. And then of course you've just got the good old fashioned cuckoo in review, right? You've got uh uh what's the name of that franchise? I just said cuckoo, I can't remember what it's called, not the Covenant. Um, <laughs> Conjuring. You got the Conjuring, Conjuring. series. Conjuring. Those are just really well made, scary fucking movies that aren't mm. necessarily great, but they're entertaining and they scare the living piss out of me. And so I think this will be probably close to that, right? It'll be horror, okay. horror driven. It'll be really gory because, of course, you're seeing Leatherface here um, in, in the thumbnail, uh, and he looks like he's actually wearing. So I mean, spoilers, Mike. Do you know who Leatherface is and why they call him Leatherface? Uh, I did walk out during the first five minutes of the film, and I never went back. But I, I do have an imagination that he wears people's faces. Yes. He wait, cuts wait, wait, wait. So and this makes a movie... mask out of people's at people's faces. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This movie scared you forever, but you've only seen the first five minutes. You've never heard. Yeah, the story. if you remember, if you remember, Kevin in the recent one, Pepper comes, she pulls a gun out of between her legs, blows her brains out. That's when I said, "We'll never watch this movie again." I left. Mm-hmm. But the the earlier ones you've seen? No, I've never seen it. That was it. That was it. 
Uh, that was it. Yeah. Right. Mike watched left the last the impression on me. He he <laughs> watched the remake of Texas Chainsaw Massacre that came out when he was what? How old were you? 16? 14? Yeah, we must have been like, yeah, 14 to 16 window. Yeah. And he saw the first scene and he left the movie theater crying or screaming. Crying in and, front of yep. Crying in front of my never, mom in front. Yeah, never went back. And he he never watched another scary movie ever again they teased me forever you know that like even cold be. caps house yeah i mean that's that, that is that is you only honestly, like i i can't believe you've only ever seen the first five minutes and you're like tortured by it oh my god it's, kevin it's just a, it's an awful situation you know what i mean so i don't know why people would do this but i am currently intrigued by this trailer with you two you know what i mean I'm you want like, to watch it because i feel like that's dare turn it on but that, nick doesn't vibe with it nick's like i don't vibe with scary yeah, we can watch it let's watch it if you guys want to watch it turn it on let's see what happens <laughs> I come in, I oh in joey's here hi you joey talk horror movies i appear you know that's how it works and joey, joey thanks for always being movies. ready to jump into the morning show on the shock mike we appreciate you joey it's fun joey also, are you ready to watch this, this is trailer by it's not directed by Fede Alvarez, but it's like written by him, I think. Oh, it's like one of his ready? Fede does good good work. Yeah. Okay. Run it up. Now all horror movies start, right? You just plow into some giant man's tractor. And sunflowers are weird and creepy, aren't they? I don't like them. I mean, dead sunflowers are weird and creepy. They're hideous looking. You ever seen how they get the, the seeds out of them? Like beat the things with a stick. What? No, I've never seen that. This doesn't look good. Oh, oh. no! <laughs> Mike, this oh, is absolutely shit. not, bro. Should we do a movie night for this? Yes, we need to make this a No, for don't Mike do that to Mike. Mike. For this place. All it needs is young blood. I don't want to live here. This is a chance for people to start fresh somewhere. Is this the Why same town from the Ghostbusters? Thing? No, I think it so. It looks like, like it. Guys, it's probably the same set. You see this. Why are we all here? What are you doing in our house? Ah, this is old pretty lady. Oh my god. Oh. Ooh. Mike. Like, Mike's oh. not gonna find you, really. <laughs> oh lord. This is hard to steal. Now I'll say Don't, don't Breathe, breathe another one of those movies that I really like. Just the first one. Just yeah. the first one. The second, second one got sucks. bonkers. Is she the original character? Just to see him again. Who? Oh, so they're going. Leatherface. They're doing like Halloween, right? Yeah, they're going Halloween. Like yeah. I've been here. I mean, this looks pretty freaking good. I'm not going to lie. It's like it's you that he wants. I'm not going to let him kill you. Oh, he just whipped it at that lady's face. Oh my god. Try anything and cancel, bro. <laughs> oh fuck. Jesus. This looks brutal. This I'm looks super amazing, in. actually, guys. I take everything back I just said. This looks incredible. Let's go. Don't make Mike watch that. <laughs> oh, Mike, you wow. have to watch it now. No, oh, see, we got to walk away from statements bonkers. like that. Like, he can't Mike, handle that. Snap. As a term of your employment here going forward. No, <laughs> don't say that. I legally I'm can't joking. say that. I'm joking, we, we might make that uh, We might make that a monthly goal. We'll I'm, see. By that the way, was, I'm sure James and Elise would love to watch this movie with us. I want everybody to know my story. heart is racing just from watching that. That is insane, bro. Wow. Chris Anka in the chat, I'm sure, would join us, too. Oh, that's my true. gosh. Chris loves the horror work. movies. Yeah, that, that actually got me. That like That's a really good trailer, and I think it looks really good. The production values are there. I'm kind of vibing with the kills. I mean, mm. it's always weird, though, Joe and Kevin. Mm -hmm. I know you probably feel the same way. Mike, of course, doesn't watch scary mm -hmm. movies because mm -hmm. he can't handle them. It's not a big deal. But it's weird when scary movies come out in January. What are we doing? Why would you not hold this mm. for, for Halloween? Um, I feel like there is a weird gap because that like black phone movie is coming out in January, February. Too, oh, that, that one looks creepy too. Yep. Um, it's just so like, I feel, I feel like I, it's not that weird to have a scary movie in January. I feel no, like. No, I just want them all to be like, you start releasing them around mid September, right? Get me really in the mm, mood for October. Yeah. And you know, like last October, me and D watched like 
every weekend we'd watch like one or two fun scary movies that she'd never see. We watch the Poltergeists, right? We watch Halloween. We watch all these great scary movies. This would be one to slide in on her. Be like, no, 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 this one's supposed to be PG, and just see how long she watches it before she divorces me. Oh. Oh, well, also apparently Black Phone got pushed to January, and I'm kind of sad about that. Um, well, and then like my bloody Valentine, obviously tied into Valentine's Day, so that was like another winter. That makes movie. sense, though. Mm. That makes sense. F. I get that. Um, this looks cool, though. That yeah, looks good. It's gonna be. I really liked the Fear Street movies that came out, and granted, they were like not full horror in the sense that. They, they were, were more like street gore. style. They but they were, were they were really fun. Yeah, yeah. We watched all three of them with Paula and Becky. Or just with Avery. Mm-hmm. I don't remember mm-hmm. who. Mm-hmm. Um, but it'll be interesting to see how hard Netflix goes in on this one. Um, I my guess is that I don't know if they own the 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 rights to it. I have to imagine they just licensed it. I don't know. I don't know how the whole thing worked out, but I'm guessing if they do if this does well. They're going to go hard into Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You're going to see a lot of these mm. happening every year. But good for them. Okay. Looks cool. Could be looks, cool, guys. Could be looks, cool. Looks scary as can be. And you know what, Joey? After I see something scary, I usually need a palate cleanser. And today's mm. palate cleanser is actually a fun one because it's a cool Twitch bounty that we're going to use to also promote some of our upcoming content because you best believe that you will get a special edition of the screencast, which is Jackass Forever. All about it. Yes, I know Joey, Kevin, and Tim will be talking all things jackass. So I'm going to kick on this bounty in just a second. And we're going to start this up. Of course, what you need to know (laughs) from this Twitch bounty is, guess what? The jackass crew are real life friends. And they're joined by a whole new crew of misfits eager to join the cause of the franchise's commitments to the craziest feats. The Jackass Collective grew organically out of a group of friends. Now the team is growing with a new crew, including Sean Poopies, uh, McLamara, which I'm yes. sure I mispronounced that, Zach Holmes, Eric McKenna, Jasper, and Rachel Wolfson. So to celebrate the unique theatrical uh, experience coming your way here on February 4th, we're gonna watch the tr- the new trailer for Jackass Forever to get excited and to enjoy this Twitch bounty with all of you. So sit back, relax. Let's get a palate cleanser and let's get hyped for Jackass Forever coming to movie theaters this week. Let's Let's do it. Let's go. It doesn't matter how many times I see this trailer. I always laugh. We've seen this trailer in theaters. I love it. Every time it makes you smile. It's great. I like Johnny Knoxville's hair too. He's got blonde hair right now. He looks great. The world waited for, for what felt like forever. Then, we waited longer. But this looks February, exciting with the bear. We promise. This is gonna be the gnarliest shit ever. The wait is over. I can't believe Noxos is so beautiful. Welcome to Jackass. Yeah. It looks great. I love hot. it. Yeah, yeah, I like it. If you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the part that gets me. When you get knocked down, you gotta get back up. If they trust that us, shouldn't get me every time, but it always does. I'm so in the drawer, but I know enough to know. If you're gonna be dumb, you gotta be tough. You're still blowing people up. As if life's not hard enough. This guy's one badass dude right here. I love you, dude. Oh, man, I'm on jackass. It's a Texas rat snake. Venomous? <laughs> oh, man. Francis hits oh, harder than rats. any heavyweight in MMA. I told Aaron it was a lightweight. This is what I want to watch. That's not a lightweight. What are you talking about? <laughs> No! Johnny hit harder than anyone on the Man. fucking planet. We're together, pops. What's the worst that can this happen? This is the shit that would oh. freak me the fuck out. You said it wasn't gonna feel like anything. I just need you to like sit with my grandpa. Just make sure There's he doesn't. There's just something about smell. Jackass that just makes you smile. No matter where you are. How is he? Thank you, bunch of nasty scientists, right now. Can I get a cold drink? Yeah. Uh, Will you make him an actual coffee, Stephanie? Here, I made you another one. (laughs) (laughs) It's gotta be over, dude. I think we're all the way finished. We're through. 
stick a fork in it! Oh, no. wow. I love that Johnny Knoxville's dressed like uh, Robert Duvall from, uh, from uh, Apocalypse Now. God, it's Ugh. just ridiculous. I love that they did another one. I'm, I'm, God bless them. God bless them. I'm not even a fan of the Jackass movies. I'm just so jacked for this one to come out. For, mostly for Tim, because I know how much Tim loves these. The, this is a, a weird movie in the sense that they could show the entire movie in the trailer mm -hmm. and I would still be so stoked, to, which I feel like they kind of have, and I'd still be excited to see it and I still know that I'm going to laugh just as hard, if not equally, uh, watching it in theater. The, it's exciting uh, to see all their faces and to know they're going to do some crazy stuff. I, I, I'm really excited and it's wild to think comes out February 4th. This week, we're going to be seeing Jackass. And, of course, Joey, Kevin, and Tim are going to be talking all things about it in a special screencast, which is pretty dope to think about. Uh, yeah, they're going to be watching that later this week. You guys mm -hmm. tune in, I think. Uh, when do you guys see that? Wednesday night or Thursday night? I, think it's like I don't think we can say. Oh, oh you got the screen. Okay, well, they'll well, they're going to talk about it. It's going to be great. That's going to be fun. <laughs> and just like, let's, let's forever, anytime we're doing something like that, let's never not say where, when we're seeing it. No, I mean, you guys, uh, screeners are fine. You guys can understand. People mm -hmm. understand uh, you get screeners for movies every once in a while. It's not a big deal. Keep an eye out sure. for that. That was Jackass Forever coming to movie theaters on February 4th. So get excited for the fun and some new members joining the crew, which I'm most excited about because I want to meet some new people and see what kind of crazy shenanigans they're going to get into. But thank you to Twitch for the bounty. Thanks to all the kind of funny best friends for watching and enjoying that. And let's keep the stream going and having some fun as I end that bounty. We can continue on with our fun right now, which is, of course, yo. Nick Scarpino, I watched a really good show over the weekend that I think you need to know about because I know okay. you and the crew have teamed up once before with the Critical Role team, and you know them well. Mm. But their show, uh, The Legend of Fox McCann uh, Machina. Machina. Thank you so much. I was going to say it wrong there. Uh, I watched episode one through three, Nick. I'm all in. Mm -hmm. I had a ton of fun mm. with it. I liked the voice acting. I liked the animation. I did not like the dragon. If we're going to go deep into it, I didn't think the dragon looked that good, but short-lived on the dragon pretty mm -hmm. quick going forward. But I liked that there's three episodes out now. I like the crew. I like learning about the crew. I think they all look cool. They sound great, and they're pretty fun. They're all pretty fun. It's really, really good. This is all the Critical Role peeps, right? Correct. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm super proud of them. I mean, they've been just killing it for the last few, like, 10 years. Uh, we got, obviously, we had the opportunity to do Dungeons & Dragons with them. That was super fun. And uh, we totally dropped the ball. We could have been part of their organization. They invited us. And Greg said, no, we're our own people. And wow. uh, Travis Wilhelm was like, wow, that's a big mistake. And I was like, Greg, we should rethink this. And he's like, no, Nick, we have to forge ahead on our own or else no one will respect us. And now uh, they're, they're funding their shows for millions of dollars. And we're begging people for just one more hour on Twitch Ooh. today, ladies and gentlemen, fill that bar. Uh, no, I'm super, I'm super excited. A lot, a lot of people say they copied us, though. We did an animated show uh, first. We did do know? an animated show first, and uh, I believe Travis actually did a voice in our animated show, uh, which was really, really cool. Who's he to know? Who's his, to know? I mean, I know he did. Uh, he lended <laughs> his voice talents there for us, which was great. Um, that's exciting, Mike. I probably that that show doesn't necessarily speak to me but i definitely mm. want to give it a shot because i'm we're friends with all of them so that's cool that you liked it are you gonna if, if there's another season pops around are you gonna watch it again yeah i'll watch it again i think they're doing three episodes per week so i got another one coming up next week which i'm excited for it's on prime I, like i said i like it a lot and i i am excited to see where this goes i think you got me right i'm a big fan of animated stuff cartoons whatever i like the high fantasy right i love the idea that like this team does D&D, which I've never seen or done before in my life, but you can bring in a newbie like me into this and be like, wow, I'm excited about this world. I like everybody. Maybe one day I might click on that Twitch stream and watch them mm -hmm. do a D&D session, but no, no promises. No promises yet. You know what I mean? No promises yet. Well, there you go. I watched. Tell me. A good movie. I liked it. I liked it a lot. It didn't get critically acclaimed. I looked up the reviews on that afterward, and a lot of people said they didn't like it very much, but I thought it was really, really good. It's a, it's on Hulu right now. You can rent it, okay. obviously, on Amazon Prime and, and, uh, and uh, Apple, but I believe Hulu's got it for free, called The Sunlit Night. Oh. Indie film, hour 22 minutes, starring Jenny okay. Slate, who uh, famously got kicked off of Saturday Night Live after her first episode because she said the F word. It's hilarious. I'm like, that's gangster, so I support you forever. Uh, and it's about an artist who is uh, trying to find her, her sort of 
aesthetic and her voice. Okay. Uh, but is on dire straits because she doesn't have any money and her parents are breaking up. She's going to move out of the house. So she takes a job as an assistant to a painter who is painting a barn yellow in Norway. Oh. And so she goes out and lives there for a summer and helps him paint this barn. And in doing so, like, discovers a little bit more about herself and her art and, like, gets away from society and kind of finds her voice. And it's a pretty simple movie. I mean, it's got some flaws. Uh-huh. It's not the best movie I've ever watched. But where it, Zach Galifianakis is in it, Jillian Anderson's in it, supporting characters, and uh, it's just beautifully shot, and that's mm. one of the things that I loved about. It. I'm like, it's just you you take some good actors and put them in the middle of a small town in northern Norway, and you let them just romp about. I mean, the, one of the things about the movie is that there's never in in this partic- particular part of the world, it's never dark during this one season. That's why that's why it's called the sunlit night. And oh. so it's always beautifully diffused light on every single one of their shots. It's just stunning. It's stunning. I really, I really enjoyed watching it for, uh, for the hour and 22 minutes. I recommend it. Okay. I like that Jenny Slate lady. She's good. She makes me laugh all the time. She's great. She's really, really funny. She's really uh-huh. good in this. Um, it's, it's more of a serious movie, so it's not as okay. comical. But it's not, like, super dramatic. Like, spoilers. There's not really a – I mean – it's not going to be like, oh my god, this is we're we're getting down to the 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 bone of human existence here. But it's just a it's a good movie, of, you know, shot in a beautiful location, shot really well with great actors, um, and it's pretty simple and straightforward. And I really enjoyed it. And it also reminded me of like, you know, that that feeling of traveling to another country and being a fish out of water and just not understanding what's going on around you and kind of being mm-hmm. lost for a little bit. It's super fun to be to, to feel that every once in a while. So I liked that a lot. And then Nick, I watched. What? Oh, oh yeah, tell me. I was going to tell you one I watched while I was sick, it. Nick. I watched a great documentary on HBO Max or HBO. What is that? HBO Max? Yeah, HBO Max. Beanie Mania, Nick. All about Beanie Babies and the craze oh, that I it was that cute, I have that during the 90s and early 2000s. Nick, this is incredible. This is a wild thing because actually my aunt, Aunt Christine, got way too deep into Beanie Babies. She was what these people are talking about where she had Tupperware boxes Mm -hmm. of Beanie Babies all over the house, right? We were buying them left and right for her down there. But man, I'll tell you what, Nick, this was fun to watch and how it started with these ladies out in, uh, outside of Chicago where they were living on a cul-de-sac and they all got really in to Beanie Babies before it was ever big. And they were running around different streets and different towns to find these things. And then the blow up and explosion and the guy Ty, who ran it all and what he was about. And then of course the collapse of it all. And now the resurgence of some kids like getting it from their parents and grandparents and like making YouTube videos and making them semi relevant again. Like it's a fun little romp right there. I really like it. Uh, It's it's I lived through that era and it's always fascinating to see those things come in and come out of Vogue. And it's, it's funny because like, obviously we're in the, we're in the throes of another commodities moment with the Pokemon cards, right? And Pokemon yep. cards and Magic the Gathering cards, all of those were very similar growing up. I remember people got caught up in those, and obviously some of them had a little bit more staying power than than the Beanie Babies. I think the Beanie Babies aren't worth shit now, if if, if I'm not mistaken. But back in the day, it was a craze, man. People were yeah. like had they had Tupperware bins full of these fucking Beanie Babies because they just thought this is going to be my retirement. I'm going to buy these Beanie Babies now, get the hard to get ones, sit yeah. on them for 20 years, and then sell them like a Spider-Man number one for like a million dollars, right? Mint on card, all that stuff. And it's just the bottom fell out of them. People were just like, no, nah, we don't need Beanie Babies anymore. But Pokemon cards still going strong. So who knows? Keep Hold on to your Beanie Babies, everyone, because you might find it. Uh, you might be able to fund your, your future grandchild's college career with them in about mm. 20 years. Yeah, I need Kevin to oversee me because after I finished this, Nick, I immediately went to eBay and started like browsing Beanie Babies. And I was about to buy a couple. And then I said, like, you know what, Mike, don't buy these. Don't buy them. And then I almost bought them because there's that really cute red bull. Nick, Mike, you know we're going to, we're going to, we're going to need your, and then, and then any then form of, of credit gotta, card or play, like any, then, yeah, then there's the you lizards, can't be trusted with your lizard. own money. It after really, watching, really you tell me after watching a documentary about, People making the mistake yeah, of like, buying me like over here. Like, look, I was going to put it up on the wall. You know what I mean? I was only going to buy two. Timmy, but now, two. now, now, Timmy buddy in the chat says, I saw a kangaroo beanie baby sell for over $3,000 this past wow. week. Wow. And I call bullshit on that, Timmy. Link me to that wow. one because Link I'm going to say, I think you're screwing around with Mike just so he blows all of his money on beanie all babies. All of his money. So we can all make of fun it. of him. Like his friends made fun of him when he left Texas Chainsaw Massacre five minutes oh. ago. Oh. We could never watch that again. What else did you watch, Nick? What else did you get to watch? Uh, I watched another movie that was on Hulu that I had queued up for a while called Young. I think it was Young Adolescence or okay. oh, it's a Pete Davidson movie. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. 
Not as good as I wanted it to be, unfortunately. Saw that oh, over the weekend. Anyway. Thought it was going to be like the King of Staten Island, which I really liked. I really what liked him in that. that I really thought it was good. Um, it was not like that. It was uh, it was not as entertaining in that, unfortunately. So that was unfortunate. I don't, it's not called Young Adolescence. It's called Something Adolescence. But I'll yeah, because young, young Adult was that one movie with what's her face in it, right? Yeah, that was with Charlize. Oh, Theron. big Charlize time Theron. adolescence. Big time adolescence. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Didn't care for it that much. Um, not his best work, but I am a Pete Davidson fan. Uh, so I gave it a shot. Not not my favorite of his movies, unfortunately. Does he have game? I haven't watched many of his other stuff besides. You King know, that like, one's great. I, I never watched that one. Was that good? It's on yeah, he, uh, It's free. You can watch okay. it. <laughs> he tattoos a little kid. <laughs> And it's then funny. chaos ensues. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. I will chaos keep ensues. an eye out for that one. Chaos. Yeah, ensues. he's got. It's it's very much like a uh, you know it's a, it's a deep story. It's a deeper story uh, than you think from Pete Davidson. Quasi autobiographical. Um, okay. It's really good. It's really good. And I and you know Bill Burr is good in it. Steve Buscemi is good in it. Is like uh, the supporting cast. Bill Burr. I like so that good one a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You watch anything else? Just a lot of Seinfeld, you know, nice, just catching good. up on my I'm I'm on the old Seinfeld. And now I'm getting to that point where I'm like, I'm in season four and I'm like, oof, I'm, I'm through the point of no return where I'm like, I've watched more Seinfeld than I have left. And it's sad. Oh, you know what the cool moment? part is? You can just replay it, though. You just, you just hit mm-hmm. the it's replay. True. It's true. Once, it, once it hits the end, it can just restart. Yeah. I did do that thing where I'm like, I just jumped into season two, episode one. I haven't watched any of season one. Because this show really hits a stride right around the, the, the Chinese restaurant episode. That's really where mm-hmm. that's, that kicks off what I think of as being a show about nothing. The Seinfeldian style show where it's just literally them waiting for a table at a Chinese restaurant for, for 22 yes. minutes. And it's yes. just so fucking perfect. Mm. So perfect, that episode. Of course, that's where we get the famous quote, you know, we live in a society from, uh, from George Costanza, which he echoes a lot. They, they really tried <laughs> to make a lot of catchphrases come out of that show and a, f- a couple of them stuck a couple of them stuck but uh but george Costanza never really got one if i'm not mistaken serenity now is one of my favorites serenity, serenity now. now that's a great one yeah. uh, i have I, a recommendation for you people. oh thank you Joe. so i yeah, saw yeah, this on us. twitter and i thought this would be a lot uh, the of fun. after party fun. but also on be- apple tv plus okay okay it's a uh murder mystery whodunit mm-hmm. okay he haddish is the like uh detective there we go um, oh and i they- love yeah it's Dave Franco is a <laughs> pop star rapper guy who has died at the end of their like 10 or 15 year high school reunion. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's all about interviewing everybody to figure out where they were. It is a Lord and Miller uh, produced okay. executive produced TV show directed by Miller. Uh, so you have Tiffany Haddish, Sam Richardson. Um, love Sam Richardson. I love that he's getting, he's blowing up now. He's so he and Ben Schwartz are like kind of like the heart and the core of the show. And then there's a bunch of supporting cast. Ike Barinholtz, who is so funny. I love him. Uh, Alana Glazier, Dave Franco, um, a bunch of like really, really, really great people. They dropped three episodes, I think, on Thursday last week. Um, And then it's like a 10 episode drop total. It's really, really fun. You should watch it. The after party. The after party. I'm gonna watch that because you got me. You got me with some of those names, which I'm excited about. And Joey, I'm glad that you're here because I don't want you to leave, Joey. Because okay. you're perfect for this one. We have okay. the movie bros along with my movie Sherpa, Nick Scarpino. And we have the chat and chat. I think people are gonna get feisty on this one, and it's gonna be an exciting time because we're gonna go to our thing of the week. And I have two things of the week, but we're gonna do one of them right now. And this actually came from Straw Hat Goofy. Joey Noel, an awesome TikToker, great content, but he has brought out, you got to choose three out of these iconic comedy movies. And so what I want us to do is go down the list, talk about them, and then we'll give the three that we're keeping, right? And so the Mm -hmm. titles on this list right now are Grandma's Boy, The Hangover, Hall Pass, Horrible Bosses, Due Date, Dodgeball, 21 Jump Street, the Longest Yard, Napoleon Dynamite, Pineapple Express, Role Models, Step Brothers, Super Bad, Talladega Nights, and The Wedding Crashers. Mm-hmm. So everybody out there, you can only keep three. Let's go down the list and just reminisce and talk about them really quick. Nick Scarpino, you're wearing the beanie. You are grandma's boy. 
What yeah. did you think of Grandma's Boy way back? Grandma's in the day? Boy is a movie that I I love. I hold near and dear to my heart. It's mm-hmm. it's an Adam Sandler movie without Adam Sandler in it. It's basically the B, the B cast of all of the Adam Sandler movies, the Happy Madison crew, uh, and they were trying to give them a little bit of a comeuppance there. And it's got Linda Cardellini in a supporting role. I love that movie. It's one of those that I watched it the first year I started working at IGN, and I remember thinking they had this the the uh, snake stand up statue that we had in the office that that uh, my buddy and I broke unfortunately as we were trying to move it we broke the, we broke the uh, silencer off of his gun and so i just think it's a really a funny simple movie i wouldn't put it necessarily on the same list as all these so unfortunately oh, it's a, wow. that's probably going to have to go um, oh, but it really? is a fun movie. Oh as wow! A, well, I just think there's there's big there's heavier hitters. As we yeah, get but I feel place. like Grandma Boy is like the best movie that uh, the what not what was the company called? Happy not Madison. Happy Gilmore. Happy Madison has done that is like post like their great movies. You know, I think it's I think it's oh. their best movie of that With ilk. The, yeah. Mm. So like obviously Happy Madison, I think started doing shit like Grown Ups, and you're like, oh, you're not even trying anymore. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's probably the last like great. Happy Madison movie that came out. Uh, Chad can let me know if there's one that came out after that. But going down the list, The Hangover, of course, a Todd Phillips classic. Um, it's a great movie. Just lightning in a bottle, mm-hmm. Lone Wolf Pack. God, God bless it. That's definitely one that's <laughs> probably up in contention for me. Uh, okay. Just because, I mean, that movie's so fucking bonkers and what a great concept and really, really funny. Um, so let's keep that on the list for right now, I would say. Okay, okay. Let's... Hall pass. Get the yeah, yeah. fuck out of here with yeah, that. What is that? What joke. is that? That yeah. movie sucks. That movie sucks. And this, so, so, so I think he just had three extra DVDs he needed to put in here, and he just sandwiched them in because Hall Pass, <laughs> Horrible Bosses, and Due Date. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, Robert Due Date is one Jr. one. Is horrible Bosses Due Date's fun. terrible. Horrible Due Bosses terrible. is yeah. Horrible Bosses is watchable. Due Date, I'm like, this movie is – they should have not – they shouldn't have released this movie. Never. Dodgeball. I, I like Dodgeball. I love Wanted Dodgeball. it to be better. I never really Plastic. got a lot of laughs out of it. Yeah, Pirate but Steve. But I love Vince Vaughn. What's that? So they have Pirate Steve in it? Pirate they Steve is Pirate in this? Pirate they have a Pirate Steve. Steve. Oh, my gosh. I mean. But on. I'm not going to put it as like. It, it, no, so but, good now. but So now we're getting into the more interesting part of this list, right? Okay, okay. You got 21 Jump Street, which we just watched and reviewed. I think it's hilarious. So good. I think it's really, really funny. I don't think it's better than some of the other movies coming on this list, um, but I do think it's really, really good. The Longest Yard, I'm not even sure is a comedy. Truth be told, it's a remake of a Burton Reynolds movie. I don't remember it being very good, either of them being very good. So That one you get... had Cheeseburger Eddie, which was Terry Crews. But other true. than that, I didn't really care for any of them. Didn't care for it very much. No. I don't think I've ever seen it. It's not worth watching. Skippable. Now, Napoleon Dynamite. Ugh. I love so much. I, I fucking love Napoleon Dynamite. I hate that movie to you so much. How much I love that movie. God damn it. I yes. watched that on a double date with, <laughs> on a double with, date. with my with my friend and his now wife. Uh and and one of the, and someone I went out with. Uh she was very lovely, didn't work out unfortunately, but it was a great first date. We played pool afterwards. <laughs> wow. And I laughed so hard at this movie. And I don't remember her laughing at all. But I was like, "This is how much this movie." I just don't understand this humor. Killing me. It's, it's so. so good. I just I had don't my get 16th it. My 16th birthday party was a surprise oh, wow, party, Joe. and it was Napoleon Dynamite themed. Yeah. Like I was down deep down oh. the Napoleon Dynamite rabbit hole. Kevin, I want you to know, I'm just like you. Besides Uncle Rico, I didn't care for this movie at mm-hmm. all. I actually mm-hmm. really di- disliked this movie a lot. And I was at like, I think Joey and all of us can say like. We're at the prime of this, right? I remember kids wearing oh, yeah. T-shirts all the time, doing the dances, doing the dumb Peter, tater tot joke. Peter don't, give for me, president, whatever the fuck it was. Don't punch my ta- Don't punch my tots, you know. I give me, oh, give me some tots. Hated it. I hated, <laughs> hated this it. Movie Everyone so was doing it. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's not for everyone, but I will say it got sure. me. I loved it. I was, I was, I was captured by the style and the tone of the movie. <laughs> I really, really dug it. It's weird as shit. And it's not laugh out loud funny as much as it is like this is just I was like, Rex Quando is fucking hilarious. And shout out to Dieter, uh, <laughs> Diedrich Baker, Bader or whatever mm. his name is because he's great in it. But moving on, Pineapple oh, really Express. Really quick. Yeah. Really quick. That guy who was Napoleon, have I ever seen John him Hader. in anything else? Blades John Hader. Oh, he's on the Benchwarmers Blades of Glory. Okay. Oh, Blades those. of Glory okay. is so good. That's a funny movie. That's a funny movie. Um. I can understand why you wouldn't like Napoleon Dynamite. Pineapple mm. Express, on the other yes. hand, I 
fucking love this movie. It's yes. Great. It's, it's so great. funny. And I watched it again about a year ago. Just because you didn't got to touch back in. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Check mm-hmm. back in and see if it's funny. And I laugh so hard anytime <laughs> Craig Robinson does anything. And he's every time best. Danny Mc, that scene with Danny McBride <sighs> and Seth Rogen where he's like, see you right here, homeboy. Like he's like I shave. You see how see how I shave my armpits? That's right. I shave for fire, like for aerodynamic. It's so Danny the, McBride. He's like yeah. Danny McBride in that movie is so funny when so he's funny. at the end where he's, he's at the, the diner the and yeah, he's he slowly out. fading out. He could be dying. He could be dying. And he's like, oh, oh you're about good. to go. He's like, I was about to go. So good. Like, I, should go. I, should I go. also oh, I rewatched Pineapple Express because it was one of my favorites for a very long time. I I think it held up that well. Really? Oh wow! Oh, yeah, I just, I, so, and I was really bummed about it because I love Pineapple Express. We, so oh. we didn't even finish it when we watched it. Paul, Paul, and I just re, like she watched it for the first time, and I and uh, we were watching it with Avery, and uh, I don't know, I enjoyed it still. You know what? Here's a here's a crazy one for you, Joey. You know I love Pineapple Express. It is right up my wheelhouse, and I actually loved. All of the Franco and Seth Rogen movies, mm-hmm. but my favorite neighbors, one, so good. the neighbors was good. Uh, the interview was very, very good when they did that one. It got pulled off Netflix, right? But one oh, yeah. that I really love and I, I think is better than Pineapple Express. This is the end. And I tried to show mm. Roger in the back of an Uber. <laughs> I love this is the end. Like the I've most never seen out of all the whole thing. Craig Robinson is it. great. It's Michael Sarah's funny in that one. They got Hermione. Like, I love this is the end. It's one I of my favorites. I tried to show Roger in the back of an Uber. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we watched the You're, we watched an, animal. Back. You're an animal. But um, the best part is that it was on mute. So he was explaining to Roger everything right. that was happening. God bless you. That's my favorite part. Um, uh, keep it going, Nick. Take us to the next one. I'm rolling on. Role models, fun movie. I don't know that I'd yep. put it above no, yeah. any of the other ones, but I enjoy it's fine. it. It's a good one. That's a good mid tier one. Now, here's where we get into a very polarizing movie Step Brothers. Now, Every time I watch this movie, I want to love it more than I do. I watched Mm. it recently about four weeks ago over the break uh, in December. And I just, I'm like, "Ah." there are some great moments of it. Catherine Hahn, fucking hilarious. Rob Mm. Riggle, fucking Mm. hilarious. Adam Scott, great. Great Mm. moments with uh, with all of them and and Richard Jennings and all the, the supporting cast. Just don't get as many laughs per minute out of it. That I do. What is wrong with you? I just got a lot of laughs. I just don't. I just a lot of it just doesn't hit for me for some reason, which is very weird. No way. This is the strongest. I feel like I might have ever disagreed with Nick. This is the first absolute S tier banger on this list for me. Step Brother is an automatic slot Mm -hmm. in the top three for like easy. It's that good. It's that good. It's so good. I will say I, I'm more with Nick. Like there are yeah. good it's moments. It's so quotable. It is so quotable. It's just a lot of improv that were some works and some doesn't. Mm-hmm. I just I don't know. For some reason, I, the first time I watched the movie, I didn't like it. Second time I watched it, I laughed my butt off. And then this most recent time, I was just like, yeah, this one just doesn't do it for me. Mm. Um, unlike, so we're gonna skip Super Bad for right now because I want to come back oh, to Super Bad okay, talk okay. about it. But I want to compare Step Brothers mm-hmm. to another John C. Riley, Will Ferrell banger, come on. Talladega Nights. Dude, gets me shake every it, baby. fucking time. Everything they say in that kills me. Get sit down, Karen. The cougar in the back. Yeah. Uh, Applebee's has rats. I found a whole rat in my cob salad. I'm every line in that Mountain movie. Dew. I'm all hopped up on Mountain Dew. That movie is my is the first one on this list we've talked about that has to 100 percent be on my top three. Wow. From this list, I love Talladega Nights. Every time it's on, I gotta watch it. It's a classic in my book. Now, going back one to Super okay. Bad. We're going to go back. Okay. Recently went back and watched that. Still holds up. I like that movie a lot. Super Bad is so good. It's I super love Super Bad. It is the best hotel movie ever. It's always yeah. on. Nobody Definitely. knows why. And I watch it every single time. This is also S tier. Some very good, some very fun laughs in that movie. Some great moments with Seth Rogen and uh, Bill Hader as the cops who just <laughs> want to be cool yes. cops. So they let him shoot yes. the gun and blow up cars and shit. <laughs> Uh, super funny. Uh, uh, love that movie. Uh, and then just rounding out the list before we vote on our top three. Yeah. Uh huh. Another movie that I have to say has got to be on my list is The Wedding. Wow. I thought, okay. I was worried really? there for a second, Nick. I thought you were going to be like not good, and I was going to be like, "Damn, Nick I and I can't now, be friends anymore." I haven't watched it in a couple of years, oh, but the last time I watched that movie, it's 
the Vince Vaughn Owen Wilson connection is yep. just a solid Man. duo. And Vince Vaughn kind of fell off a little bit, and he came back in this last recent uh, uh, se- season of Curb Your Enthusiasm. And I got to tell you, welcome back, Vince Vaughn. Welcome you are back. a welcome breath of fresh air to everything you do. He tried to do more dramatic work for a while, tried to do some action-y stuff. And I just got to say, like, he's, a, he's an imposing guy, but you fit much better in these comedic roles. He and this movie was so fucking funny back in the day to me. It's still hilarious that I'll never forget the the scene where they're sitting at at the dinner table and Isla Fisher's giving him a hand job and he's like people people helping people. (laughs) God, it's so good. (laughs) That's number two on my list for sure. Okay, I want to give some love really quick to that connection, Nick, because that connection is so good that they carried one of my favorite movies that still makes me laugh, even though it's very bad. The internship when they go to Google, those two, their just connection makes me laugh, even with a bad movie like that. And also Owen Wilson and Drillbit Taylor, one of my favorite movies of all time. Still, Drillbit Taylor is awesome. Mm. That's one of my favorites. So let's go and vote on it. We'll go down the list. Who's ready to give their top three right now? I'm definitely ready to give my top three. All right, let's, 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 no, let's, let's start with off. Joey. Let's start with oh, Joey. Oh, okay. Start with Joey. In- particular order yeah no particular I, order. I haven't put enough thought in it to rank them but i'm going wedding crashers super bad and stepbrothers okay wedding okay. crashers super bad stepbrothers okay those mm-hmm. are great three great three mm-hmm. joey mm-hmm. those are great three Thank i'll you. go next so i have my top two easy grandma's boy and pineapple express those just always get me i absolutely love them then after that it gets tight Right, Talladega Nights. Mm-hmm. I think it's Step Brothers. I do like Horrible Bosses and The Hangover, right? But for me, it does have to go Step Bro. So I will go with Step Brothers as my top three. So it's Grandma's Boy, Pineapple Express, and Step Brothers are my favorites. Okay, Kevin, what say you? Uh, I think I'm gonna have to go Super Bad, Pineapple Express, and Grandma's Boy. Mm. Nice, mm. Kevin. Okay, that's okay. a good list. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go. Wedding Crashers, Talladega Nights, and Pineapple Express. I think those are the three mm. that I would keep here with, a, with an honorable mention to Superbad. Because no, you don't get to do that. It doesn't count. It's an honorable mention. No, it doesn't count. You don't get four. Tell them no. Tell them no. You don't get four. You have to choose between Pineapple Express and, and Superbad. S tier S tier is Pineapple <laughs> Express, Talladega Nights, Wedding Crashers, Superbad. Okay, so those you, are my top three right there. G- give me your top three one more time, really quick. Wedding, uh, I would say Wedding Crashers, Talladega yep. Nights, Pineapple Express, Super Bad. Okay, interesting because you fought That's so four. hard. For, <laughs> you fought so hard for Napoleon. What happens to Napoleon? No, nah, I mean the Napoleon, great. But when, <laughs> okay. but when I and I love the movie. But you were talking comedies, right? We're mm-hmm. talking like laugh out loud moments, and Napoleon's more like an internal silliness vibe feeling than okay. it is anything else. Pineapple Express. When Craig Robinson walks in and sticks his hands in the like the, <laughs> into the dish, and he goes, it's "Still warm." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he does that it. It's so fucking gets me every in the mashed time. potato. In the mashed potato. <laughs> I mean, you got Rosie Perez in that movie. Yeah, but you got killing it in Super you Bad. Got the, you've got you've got his partner, right? Because it's the same. That's his. No, is that his partner? No, that's someone else. In Super Bad, oh. you have that other guy just being a total. Super just, Bad, Super Bad, great uh, too. We got, we, remember, we, we got McLovin from that party. Good, from that. bro. Lots Check of good stuff. Big, I just, yeah, I just, think, I, I would just say, I think Pineapple Express nudges it out just a little bit more on my list. But I will say that I really what? appreciate uh, if we were doing an A tier list. I think from me, so the top three would be Wedding Crashers, Tell Good Nights, Pineapple Express. Right underneath that, with the A tier would be Super Bad. Uh, I would probably I can't also believe you're put doing that to Hangover, that. and I would probably put 21 Jump Street in that A-list as well. Okay. I like that. I like that. Well, of course, kind of funny best friends, I want to see you all in the chat right now. Give me your top three. You're saving three. Which are coming with you? What are now, leaving? And, of course, if you're watching over on YouTube.com slash kind of funny plays, leave it down in the comments below. Let us see you leave some. Go, Nick. Again, tell I've me. seen some great movies that were left off this list. Obviously, oh, this okay. Doesn't own this, but a lot of people saying, where's old school? Old school. If old, old school is on this right. list. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, old school would be the number one for me. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, have laugh. has I laugh. love old school. When the Dan band comes on and he's and he's and he's singing totally clubs to the heart and he says, I fucking need you more tonight. That is yep. the moment in my life I remember thinking, 
I'm laughing harder than I've ever laughed in a movie theater at that mm-hmm. at that bit. So much so that I went and called my brother, and the next day I was like, "You've got to come see this movie for this one part." And I I explained it to him, and he goes, "That does sound funny." And when we got to it, he's like, "You already explained it to me, so it's not funny." Oh mm-hmm. no! Ben Bardstorm in the chat says, "Where's Zoolander at?" And I agree. I love Zoolander. I Zoolander would be on Zoolander. my top three. Love Zoolander. Hansel so hot right now. Hansel so hot. Hansel so hot. <laughs> so hot right now. So hot right now. Uh, no Hansel. Anchorman either. My, no Anchorman is interesting. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mike, real Rides quick. Rides is great. Yeah. Can, can I can I run upstairs and go get a pizza? Yeah, of course, Kevin. We keep I talking. Why not? All right. All right. Yeah, sure, Kevin. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, that's perfect because we get to kick it with Joey and Nick while we're hanging out here. Of course, with your support, we can go for that extra hour right now. We're sitting at about 10 minutes until we hit our two-hour marker. Looking at the bar, we're nearing that 30 minutes of extra time. So remember, if you would like to push this kind of funny morning show into the three-hour territory, you can do just that with your support. If you subscribe at the Tier 1 through 3 level, or if you or your family have Amazon Prime, you got Prime Gaming, you can subscribe totally for free, along with gifted subs, bits, donations, or follows. All will help fill up that bar, and we will go for the extra time today for as long as you want it. Don't forget that 500 biddies or $5 will get your fun clip sent in to me and the team, and we will watch that because I have a bunch of fun clips to watch with everybody, and I can't wait because Joey's here, and she's going to laugh, and we're going to have a fun time watching some fun clips. But as we wait for Kevin to come back, Joey, let's check in with you. How are you? Welcome in. How's your Monday going? I'm good. I'm great. Hanging out. Uh, quiet Monday on the gaming front. Woke up, mm, no quiet news. Quiet Monday. Yeah, no nothing covers. was happening, Joey is right. I mean, I thought the biggest news I saw from today, MLB The Show returning to Game Pass. Like, <laughs> man, what a great day in news, Joey. It was so what great. A quaint, right. Yeah, quaint little day. Um, But yeah, just hanging out. Just hanging Good. out. Tried to get through some new shows this weekend. So I started a bunch of stuff on HBO. I watched Killing Eve. Well, oh, like, okay. Part of the first season. Jodie Comer. She's so great. Fun little assassin drama. Uh, started watching Industry, which is like succession, but oh. not as intense. It's like okay. entry level people that are trying to break into like London investment. Oh, interesting. Okay. Places. Real good. Um, and then rewatch some dave season one. Oh, really one of my friends cooper lives in canada and they just had dave added and like all the fx shows to nice uh, disney plus <clears throat> so he was talking to me about that and i was like you know what i'm gonna go back and watch some of these episodes they're really really good <laughs> um so yeah doing that and then good. gilbert g12 in the chat says joey did you watch that Kristen bell show well, i watched like four episodes <laughs> It's weird. It's it's really bad, <laughs> but it's I, it's supposed to be bad. That's the thing. Hold on one second. What is it called? It's not Veronica uh, it's Mars called, or the like, Good Place. What do we got? The woman in the window across the street. Oh, from the I saw that on my house. Netflix tiles. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, it's supposed to be parody, but it almost doesn't go far enough to make it really okay to really sell it <laughs> it just seems like it kind of is in a weird limbo thing um uh yeah, the movie it's based off of yes is like a kristen wig will ferrell like lifetime movie okay that they did but it that movie was like 80 minutes long maybe not even and this is like f- 10 episodes so it's like a little bit it's like too long <laughs> and i feel like the joke is going on for too long uh, without anything happening, but I'm gonna keep going. I did see today okay. that Janina's in it at some point. Oh, really? Show. Okay, she rocks. Yeah. Um, but I, it's a weird one, but it was one that I just, it just kept playing, and I just kept watching it this weekend. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. uh, I, I have the trailer up right now. I'm browsing the trailer. That's cool. Yeah. Um, and then what else did I watch? Uh, uh, cut, watched Righteous Gemstones. Oh, I watched so that too, Joey. What do you think? Let's talk about it really quick. What do you think? I love it. So I am yeah. really impressed. I don't know if I'm more impressed by the way that they're able to make John Goodman look younger, or if I'm impressed by the way they're able to make Walter Go- or Walton Goggins' baby Bobby Billy look so much older than he is in real life when they go back and forth between. Like, yes, he looks so good. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm like, oh man, you make him look really old in the new stuff, but he's so like he looks so like normal. Um, but it's it's a really really funny season. I liked Eric Roberts in his role in it. Eric Andre in it is Eric so good. Andre's great. Yep. Uh-huh. Last week's episode <laughs> for BJ's uh baptism. Yes. Just killed me on so many different levels it might be one of my favorite episodes i can't believe how that episode ended where i I was like is this a dream oh my (laughs) god yes that was wild right (laughs) oh man and then this week like my favorite part was when the guy showed up from his past and you were wondering like what's the deal then he kept bringing up his dad was like his dad left him right he's just gone and then you get the reveal on this one you're like oh man like this is a wild storyline we got going on with the dad and i like it even though i'm missing a lot of adam in my life i want more adam but you know i think I he's gonna be in the hospital adam. for a while i think he's gonna be in the hospital for a while <laughs> what was the there was a quote i think from the last one that his sweaty boys or his sweaty <laughs> man. <laughs> sweaty man or something like that Just yeah that's made me great. laugh really hard uh, oh god they're so good they're men and daddy see the dynamic of them as kids is also very fun yeah, that was fun, the, the, is right, to see the big Christmas and stuff, yeah. The, the choice of actors for all the kids, 10 out of 10. Mm-hmm. They just nailed it. This is We're still talking oh, Righteous Gemstones? Boys. Still talking Thank Righteous Gemstones. I gotta watch oh, this show. Yeah, the thing is, like, the thing it's is... It's fun, dude. I love Danny McBride so much. I'm, like, shocked I haven't watched this. And out of the couple episodes that I've walked in, like, while they're on, you know, you turned over there, like, oh, watch five seconds. I really enjoyed it. The cast is phenomenal. Is John Goodman still in it? Yeah. Don't spoil mm-hmm. it if he's like, mm-hmm. Phenomenal. I don't know why I'm not watching this movie. One of my favorite shows... Shows, excuse me of like the last 20 years was one of the darkest things I've ever seen in my entire life. And I mean, totally, which was Eastbound and Down. Mike, did oh, you ever watch that? I, I have every season on DVD inside my room because I love it so much. That my show favorite. was a revelation to me. And, and it, was a re- it was a revelation because you're like, at some point he's going to get back to the big show and he's going to live his dream out. And he's yeah. such a horribly what was it about? fucked up, broken person. Uh, he plays Kenny Powers, who is this uh, baseball player, but he gets kicked out of the league. I forget why, Mike. Do you remember why? Because I think it's either he falls off or he's just such an asshole they kick him out. Yeah. And it's about him. He has to move back to his hometown where he's just been horrible to everyone. He has oh. to move back in with his brother and he's and like his ex-wife is there. And he's just a terrible, terrible human being. But at some point he gets a little bit of money and instead of like using it to pay rent, he buys a jet ski and hides it out in the lake. Hell and so yeah. and there's just these moments where it's him just jet skiing around a lake to like, like out to get his rage out. God, it's funny. I want you to know, Nick, every time I play MLB, the show, when I create my player, it's Kenny powers. Of That's course. who I, I literally put a mullet on him. He's the pitcher. And I just he's play the pitcher. Kenny That's what powers. It was. Because Kenny right, he Powers pitcher, is right? the best, and everybody should watch Kenny Powers because he's the greatest. God, it was so oh. good. The best, best mullet in that. Oh, Just my the best God. Mullet. He rocks. Well, as we can continue to keep the fun going, remember, if you are subscribed at the Tier 1 through 3 level, guess what? You don't got to watch ads. If you're not subscribed, you can be like Kenny, Kenny Powers, and you're out of the big leagues for three minutes. So enjoy this block of ads. And then with that, uh, y'all ready to watch some fun clips? Because we got yes. some great ones this week to end out the show remember we can continue to push that bar up and go for that extra hours if you want it if not we're gonna end here probably around the 30 minute marker so 30 minutes on the clock pretty much starting now and kevin we got fun clips to watch i got a bunch of fun clips we got some uh community submitted fun clips so kevin why don't you jump on there and roll them for you me joey and nick kevin might still be getting his pizza oh no he's here this is a good one Still oh, eating the pizza, like though, Nick. This looks He's like it's going to explode, Kevin. Just listen to this guy, too. This guy kills me. When you mix baking soda into ketchup. To a ketchup shooter. This thing literally squirts. <laughs> it's not working. No, you have to close it and shake it first, I think. This new oh, ketchup you got. What's wrong with it? I'm trying to put it on my glizzy. What's wrong with the ketchup set? This normal ketchup. I'm trying to put it on my glizzy. What do you need help with? Open the kitchen. <laughs> 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 hey, what? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh, that's so gross. That looks disgusting. Yeah, because you, so you mix baking, baking soda, soda into ketchup. Out. The ketchup shooter. Yeah. This thing oh, literally don't, squirts. Don't do this, this is my people. worst nightmare. Don't do this, people. Don't be these people. 
Oh, who the fuck carries a pizza like that? Look at this guy. Who carries a pizza like that? Who the fuck carries a pizza like that? Who the fuck carries a pizza like that? Wait a second. Look at this. Because he's got kind of a mullet and he's short. I thought that was me. Oh man. Who carries a pizza like that? This? I was like, was that me? Was I carrying a pizza like that? Oh, does man. Nick? He very much has your walk. Who the uh, fuck? When he goes down the stairs, like the, like, the rub and the blood. Maybe like I should puffer jacket. Who too. the he fuck carries a pizza? Maybe that's you like in the future. That. Look at this guy. Oh man. Who carries a pizza like that? That's awesome. That's a fucking horrible way to carry a pizza. <laughs> that kills me. Your moment of steez. I always try to bring you some steezy moments. That was incredible. That's nuts. Dude, this, this is, is absolutely cool. kidding me. I would eat shit so hard Ooh. on this. Oh, that's cool. Is it just These mossy? guys are crazy. These I think it's yeah. just like, uh, is it mossy or is it a rock, right, Kevin? It's just like a clean rock, probably. No, it's a mossy rock. Mossy rock. Yeah, so it's just so, like, if you ever, if you ever put your foot on moss, you just slip right off it. Like, no friction. Dude, you have to have, you have to have giant balls to be willing to do that, bro. Yeah. If you miss that, yeah, you're, you're getting, banging. You're banging. Yeah, and it's not going to feel good at all. No, oh, you're going to get, you're going to, that's going to damage you. Yeah, you're going to be bloody in the bottom there. That's cool. I love it. Real that's a cool, cool. one. <laughs> Here's your moment of steez as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you think I just flip him off? Yeah. What did he say? I say in Norway? <laughs> you, you gotta tell, if you're the cameraman, you gotta tell the guy to stop, bro. You gotta tell the guy yeah. on the mic to but you stop. But you bro. gotta think he didn't see that guy till. Right he didn't there. turn to the right. Yeah. I mean, yeah, oh, to right there. Man, dude, look at how incredible this guy is up ten feet in the air, bro. Oh my god, that could have killed that guy. <laughs> that could have killed that guy for sure. That could have easily killed that hey, guy. Hey, 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 what's going on, man? Hey, would you mind doing me a favor and uh, putting on your mask? That'd be awesome, man. Why are you in my car? Are you uh, you an Uber? No, but oh. you're gonna fucking go with me now. No, no, wait a minute, Jesus! <laughs> Hey, funny. <laughs> I thought you might yeah, like that on, one. Man. That's a good bit. Yeah, that's happened to me yeah. multiple times. Oh. So this is for our friends out on the East Coast oh, shoveling so snow. One of my friends asked, Mike, what happens? Do you have to shovel the snow off the roof? And I said, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that's wow, a fall. So pretty up here. Is she okay? Is he okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll be oh, fine. No, she's dead. She's dead. You fall on a ladder, you'll be fine. Wow, so fall on a ladder. Here. Incredible. Oh my god, that's incredible. As someone who's never lived in a place wow, where it snows, so pretty do you have to here. shovel the snow off your, the roof of your house? Not often, thing? Joey, but it is a good practice to get into and do wow, uh, due so to the weight. And of course, it's just melting and freezing and thawing on your roof. It's not good for it. So yeah. eventually you do, yes. Sometimes you that's do. What, that's why it's so cool to see those like the old school houses that are built that are just like A's. What's going on out here? Yeah, the big A frames. So, they're just so stiff that you just the, the snow just comes right off of mm -hmm. them or so so steep rather. Uh, um, boys. This is a great one right here. Kevin, can, can we rewind this one? This is good. What's going on out here? <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. What the fuck? Oh, this is beautiful right here. This is beautiful. <laughs> That's <It's> incredible. <laughs> I'm not crying. That you can't are. be Only real, in Florida, right? right? Only in Florida. <laughs> that was incredible. What's going on out here? That's I hope at some point your 80s action movie nights just transitions to all Patrick Swayze. Oh, this is beautiful well, right here. Uh, this is You know, beautiful. it's funny because it de we, we talked about this, Joey. We said, what is your You're definition of action? Because it could be defined in a lot of different ways. Some people define it as violence and bloodshed. Other people define it as dirty dancing. Yeah. Yep. Dirty dancing. So right. Mike could watch Dirty Dancing with us for the first I time. I still have oh. never seen it, so we might have to watch it. It's an incredible movie. So good. Kevin, send it. Send this. And I oh, my God. That's incredible. Oh, no. He did it. <laughs> Oh no. Bold as fuck to try though. Bold as fuck. You gotta eventually to try. do it. You have, when you're getting to these extreme sports, 
There becomes a moment where you have to do it. Honestly, right? you have to I feel like that could have ended way worse. Mm -hmm. I mean, I appreciate the music as well. The music is what makes it so great. It's such an impact, it's so loud. And I... <laughs> this is one of those perfect watch over and over again. Jesus. The head tracking was perfect. Well, thank God they're not, they didn't get hurt on that one. Stop, 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 stop right now. There's a bear right there. There is a bear right there. That's a bear. Back away. <gasps> Go, ba go back this? to your car. That's fine. Gotta get big. And that's just a young adult bear. That's not even a big bear. That's just that's a still young adult. That's you up, though, right? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That will dominate you. Yeah. Definitely rip you to shreds. That Shout out like... to this guy. Delivering yeah, packages, no, no matter what. What the what. fuck, man? Like, what What an interesting stop, life stop, this guy must have lived. That he just wasn't. Yeah, this that's guy clearly bear. has encountered back bears before. Go back, go back to your car. He takes That's his fine. hand out and he's just like, fuck you. I'm big. You have to imagine All this isn't bear. his first bear in No, because I would run and get killed. That's awesome. The bear would chase me. What a cool moment. <laughs> Shout out to this guy for just getting after Shout it. Shout out to the guys on the speaker who's laughing like, okay. <laughs> You're doing it. The, okay. This guy's getting a good review. Oh, I I'm love this. Okay. This is such a good clip. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not a classy bitch all the time, so. There we go. Fine. All right, show me what you All right, I get. Oh. <laughs> Are you okay? What? Oh, what the hell? We can drink from the bottom. Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not a classy bitch all the time. Put that a little too hard in your face. Oh my god. Oh, and there's a backstory oh. that you guys don't even know. Oh, this really? Started, really? This started what? Champagne what Gate on The Please. Bachelor where she accused another girl of going and shaking the bottle. <laughs> And that's causing it that, to that's not how that yeah, works. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. No, no. She I'm, the I'm like, just on. telling you what the bachelor tells me. You know, that, well, she created a vacuum the and then opened it suddenly. You know, I'm just I, hey, I'm not. You take it up with the producers. I'm not producing this storyline. But yeah. Hannah Ann, some say never recovered. Never recovered. Somebody shook up the bottle and then gave it to her. That's messed she up. She didn't win, huh? She didn't win. Uh, I mean, she. One and then he changed his mind. <laughs> uh, oh, that and was then picked girl. the other girl. Uh, no, this is Kelsey. Hannah Ann was the one that shook the champagne, supposedly. I mean, they this have cameras, Kelsey. didn't they? She's have crazy. cameras? I don't. I don't know. I don't work on the set. Okay. You're asking a lot of questions. I don't work on the set. <laughs> Are we ready for this one? Kevin, run up the next one. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I just got hit by a car, but I'm okay. I just got hit by a car, but I'm well, okay, Tim. That's the first four um, you on okay. TV, Tori. Tim like, is on Quaaludes. I'm okay. Yeah, you know, that's this live woman? TV for you. It's all good. I actually got hit by a car in college, too, just like that. Wow. I am so glad I'm okay. Get, <laughs> maybe don't okay. stand in the street. We're okay. We're all good. This is a... Uh, I Shout can't believe she's girl. like you know still what? in the vibe. It's, uh, like one one sure okay, she's focused We're good, on Tim. Ma'am, you, sure okay? you are so sweet and you are okay. So it is all good. You know, I... <laughs> Yeah, I hope she gets hit by her car right you, now. You know, it's my last week on the job and I think this would happen. So you were bumped in... Me, Tim. Were you bumped he he handled that way oh too well. God. Here's what I'm going to say. Car, First off, okay. that definitely car, fucked up her pelvis. Okay, Tim. Second off, if you okay. can hit by a car twice, We're all good. You're, you're doing something wrong. Yeah, you're you know, doing something wrong. You need to, you need to figure it out. I actually got hit by Stop. Like, there's no reason for you to be doing wow. standing in the street okay. doing this. You can yeah. move you're just okay. a little bit over. You're you know? okay. We're all good. This is a... Uh, you know what? It's a... I like it because she just shakes it off like a champion. She you know what I mean? She's like, I've been so hit by a car in college. You, you see I'm what's all going good. I'm fine. You know, I'm fine. And she just gets up there and get, does it. This is another great one right here. Um, for all you East uh, Coast best friends out there dealing with snow, this is not how you use a snowblower. Do not do this. But it's great to watch. Oh, my God. I love how it's the, that song. Home Depot song. The Home Depot song. <laughs> Are they just Jeez. slow and they get back into, into each other's face? <laughs> you cannot do that. I think kids are supposed to be blowing all their snow into my yard.
Do you see what's going on? You gotta make it commonplace, Joe. You know what I mean? That's the rule. You gotta make a common area that you're all gonna blow snow into. This guy's just blowing snow right in this guy's face. That's incredible. Right back at you, Todd. Okay, eight month fall. Oh, bulk this is not update. Go good. My son's got a new morning routine, which involves getting up at the crack of dawn for a sports massage to help recovery, <laughs> oh whilst God. he watches some motivational videos to visualize his future. We've added loads of variety to his training, including wrestling, which he absolutely loves, but I never oh ever God. let him win. <laughs> However, my wife's a bit soft, and he's managed to pin her a few times. Oh my God. We're trying out some cardio. <laughs> Plyometrics. Look at that phenomenal. Jordans. CrossFit. Just have kids throw up on you, by the way. And gymnastics. Look he's already this. got elite level grip strength, even though he's only eight months old. Wow. Wow. Grip bulk update. My son's got a new morning routine, it's which involves getting up at the crack really of dawn for a sports massage to help recovery. They should get that kid into grappling immediately. He's got strength like that. <laughs> <laughs> he's just fucking up kids ten times his age. Future Ninja Warrior, you know? Exact the window. Hey, yo, Scott! Toss that pizza to, some to someone else and have them toss it back to you. Does it say how many times? No. Okay. Hey! Yo! Okay. Oh, this is incredible. What a catch. This is you, Nick, back okay. in the day. <laughs> Literally, this used to be. This is <laughs> that's why I put it on here. <laughs> that's incredible. These guys are really good at this. Hey, yo, Scott. Damn. Toss that oh, pizza to someone stuff. else. Yeah, and we had it like that. That's they impressive. Have they have a that bunch of other. videos playing with pizza. That's <laughs> Do they really, Kev? It's been a while, uh, y'all. by the handle of a real Hold pizza on. flipper. That's way line. Is that hard to do, Nick? I've never tried it before. I imagine it's not that easy. Huh. The problem is that the pizza's going to be kind of slidey. It's going to be kind of slippery, mm -hmm. right? You struck me as the man that would try that, yeah. No, yeah, I've never we'll, tried before. We'll I, I once, try that. once the pizza was done, I just wanted to cut it and get it the fuck out of there. Get it out of his life. <laughs> just get it out of my life. Uh, this Kevin, is this is a great one. This one made me laugh. All right, I'm going to hit it. Back. New year. New me. Hi there. Welcome to Park Place McDonald's. We'll be with you shortly to take okay. your order. <laughs> Amazing. It's been a while, y'all, but I'm back. New year. New me. That's incredible. Hi there, Ronnie Games. It's Ronnie This is a great. This is a great. That's perfect. That's a good The Mandela right effect there. is when a large group, large group of people remember something differently that it occurred. What is your best example of this? The robber and hiker emojis. Apparently, they never existed. I distinctly remember the Mona Lisa painting having a frown. I studied it at school. I remember discussing it, but it turns out apparently she's always had a smile. I know it didn't have a smile but apparently now it always has, that freaked me the heck out we literally studied it and discussed the frown. Pikachu doesn't have a black tip tail. I thought he had a black tail. Many believe the raisin oh, brand sun wore sunglasses. Too. I thought this, this dude had the sunglasses. Case. The Monopoly man never had a monocle. Really? I thought he had a mon monocle. The Tinker Bell thing frustrates me, I have clear memories of her waving her wand at the Disney castle and fireworks exploding around it. I have been told that there is no footage of this in existence, uh, I don't know about that but I remember one. it. That sounds right. I'm guessing it was a special intro Disney used when they played their old shows on TV, but supposedly yeah. it's all in my head. The Fruit of the Loom underwear thing, I, I think it's something about a cornucopia being on it. I thought it had that basket thing. Is Tony the Tiger's nose blue or black? If you said black, then you're wrong. Bernstein Bears versus Bernstein Bears. To this day, I'm still convinced I there still is a don't parallel know universe where the Bernstein, Bernstein bears still exist, <laughs> and the Roman Stein. never happened. I'm upset that it's not bear. I thought it was bear my whole life. You Wait, know? go back. Bear. B a a r. I can't go back, Nick. It's not oh, b e a r. No, it's b e r e. That's what pissed me off. That's the harder one. That's <laughs> really. Great. Yeah. Oh, wow. You think it's wow. bear? Like a bear. Bear, like the I bear. I remember Curious like George Yogi being a bear. monkey with a tail, not a chimp. It is bear. I will hop it? on this hill. No. They're bears. No, I know they are bears. The family that writes the bear Bearstein Bears spells their name like B E R E. Why, I'm confused. The Berenstein. Oh, you mean the. Oh, I Yeah, you the mean bear the first part, part of it. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, no, that one, that part I always got. I always thought it was Berenstein, Berenstein, Berenstein Bears, Berenstein Bears. Yeah. They even mm-hmm. talk about that on Peacemaker, one of the episodes. They have a joke about yeah, that. Like, oh, yeah, it's true. Oh, man. That recent Peacemaker episode, so good. Holy snap. Man, if your, name, if your last name's Berenstein, you got to change this, Dean. It's too Kevin, hard. I had to fix my camera just so you know. Mm-hmm. That's incredible. Yeah. Uh, hold on. I'm broken. My bad. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah, that one messed with my mind, so I thought I'd turn that on for That's everybody cool. to see I what everybody that. saw. Because that one, that one got me for sure. Just a great clip. Max, what do you want for dinner? Justice. <laughs> Max, what do you oh. want for dinner? Justice. This is one of the best clips around. That's... This one, I never want you all to forget this. That is why I put it in. Just the two of us. Oh, what are they doing? Castles in the sky. Just the two of us. Oh. I look like James Burke. It know, really does. It really I does. Love it. This dog is amazing. Sometimes oh, when I nap, I hold Cecil's paws. Oh, it's so perfect. He just wants his hand held. That's not another great one. This week, there I... was a pickle stand- pickle scandal in the. Ooh. Sorry, go ahead. Oh no, I just I saw another great one with I think it was like gold. It was a family of golden retrievers. They had golden retrievers, and one of them just hugs the woman, and as she tries oh. to pull away, it like pulled her closer and then looked at her. And then hugged awesome. her again. I was like, that's oh. the cutest thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. I would like to get an eagly hug one day. You know what yeah. I mean? I'd like they that don't thing do that. to embrace me. They don't that do that. You incredible. really don't want to get that close to an eagle when it's like scared. <laughs> it'll start It'll start clawing at you and pecking at you. Yeah, it'll take something. Something you want to keep. <laughs> like your eyeball. They go through the orifices. Woo! Like, because they can't break the hide. That's What's this next one? which is something I never thought I'd say. The Portland Pickles, which are in my top five personal favorite minor league baseball team names, for the record, hosted a mascot takeover on their Twitter. What could go wrong, right? A lot. A lot could go wrong. This was the mascot's first Twitter post. Oh, awesome. <laughs> what? He meant to do a thumbs up, I'm assuming, but no. instead showed thousands of people his kosher bill. And now there's merch. Wow. I love the internet. This week, there was a pickle scandal in the news, which is something I never thought I'd say. The no, Portland Pickles, which are in my top five personal favorite minor league... the mascot take over. God, what a terrible thing. The I just want to see it one more time. I want to yeah, see it one more time. <laughs> yeah, because, like, neither of his hands are in the right place, right? No. Like, he has to have his right uh. hand tucked, going under his crotch, finger up. Right? That's the only way to get in this position. Well, I imagine if you click on the full picture, you can see his thumb, but it looks like he's got a little doinker. Oh. Now, should I investigate further? Go to Pickles yeah, definitely. Baseball? Go to, go to Pickles. I'm sure they Portland took Pickles right Baseball? Now. Yeah, this no. is definitely gone. You don't think so? Because so? it's the kind of thing that gets oh. them attention. Because now, you, so many minor people league, know about guys. the Portland Pickles than, any, yeah, exactly. than anybody did before. No way is that still up. Let's go. Let's do some investigating, Kevin. That's let's what the go. morning show is all about. Reporting. Let's deep dive into this. Oh, also, I guess I have no idea how long ago this was. Yeah, you probably just saw the date on that post. Well, this is January 30th, so I don't even know what. Oh, that was yesterday. Wow, they're tweeting a lot. Yeah, I mean, the Portland Pickles don't screw around, man. They got yeah, a good they, social they, media guy. Oh, there's okay. Well, that oh, I thought that well, was there, there's, there's the thumbs up right there there's for the you. There's the thumbs up. Mm-hmm. Okay, they got a li- nice little social media. I'm sure they took it, down it was by two now. weeks ago. It was two weeks ago. Joey says, okay, so Kevin, you can keep scrolling down a little bit more. Then this is from the 26th. Got dope a Portland pickles a hat. We need a date. Ooh, January that doesn't 12th. look good. January 12th, Kevin, was the mascot takeover. Let's see if uh, Mr. Pickle's still doing his thing. Oh, I mean, they're posting Oh, it. okay. Oh, oh it's there still it is. there. Sorry, click in there. Oh, no. What, oh, what no. is the tweet underneath oh, it, no. Kevin? What is the clear why is, up tweets? Why is the picture not full? It's provocative. It gets the people going. It really yeah. does, Joey. This is a big deal to us, it says. That's oh, great. Oh, that's huge. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> they must just be making fun of this. Oh, man. Uh, they 100% are. This is that's, great. This, I, mean, that's, I think that's funny marketing. That's, that's, that's great. Oh, that's wow. great stuff. Skimboarding? That's crazy. Oh, 
Oh shit, he fucking cleared it. Are you kidding? You pull your phone out and you record it. Okay. I do. I mean, I'm. Yeah, that's pretty. I could never do anything like this. I would fall and crack my head open. You have to take oh. that's for sure. This fountain one was my favorite. I think. Yeah. It was yeah, the most impressive. That's incredible. Sure. You got good fun clips today, Mike. Thank you. I put in a bunch. I wanted this. Okay, so you know who this is. The big Aristotle. The Shaktus. My man Shaktus and a fool. Shaquille O'Neal. Can you believe you were in his presence? Like, that's the one. That's the only reason why I put this in. It's like, you guys got to be next to this man. I never got next to be next to It was just me and Andy. Oh, oh just Andy and Kevin? Oh, I thought yeah. you were there. Like, this is incredible, bro. Shaq is my man. Shaq's a badass. When you definitely just made made the best decision of your life Great tell me i'm wrong that's incredible when you definitely <laughs> just made the best decision of your that's life that's the worst decision tell me ever. i'm wrong but that's great old move that's what she wanted <laughs> when this can't be real right like that's the best scary decision of your life tell me i'm you're it's about to witness a world's so first trick. I appreciate first it. First trick. It's insane. Just wait, what? Human beings being incredible. Kira and Riley landed a triple flare. That's incredible. You're about to witness wow, a world's right? first trick. Let's watch it one more time. Can you even do this? This is like a thing you could do. No, I mean they didn't what? think so until this guy. That's unbelievable. Good for that guy. What is this? Bears. Bad news bears, they call them. Because yeah. that guy wants to die. Dapped you know? up. I don't think this bear knows, like, is doing what you think the bear is doing. You don't think he was trying to dap him up? I don't think the bear is like, let's Why get is the bear. Why is the bear's mama like, bear come over like, yo, yeah. what are you doing? Yeah, Do you see that guy in the background good. that's pulled over and, like, has his door open? Yeah. What's get his move? Back in your car I've done yeah. this many car. a times, Kevin. I've done it many a times, but you want to get close to nature. You know what I mean? You want to get that killer shot. Look, and that. that's I've why that. we we know that like you're not long for this world. I've done you're that. You're not what gonna you live do? a long life, but it's gonna be a full one. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna dap this bear up. A bear yeah. is gonna shit you out one of these days, and none of us are gonna be surprised. <laughs> How many Smash Mouth clips do we have? <laughs> it's hot right not now. Enough. Yeah, it's very hot right now. Oh, just the baby's eyes lighting up when it sees that blow up. Incredible. Oh. Uh. Starbucks. Yo, take out the trash often, Starbucks employees. Always remember that. If you're working with coffee and you're just putting a bunch of coffee grounds inside of a bag, like, take that out recently. Take that out frequently, please. Oh, this guy just got fucking bombed. At my restaurant, Nick, we didn't have, like, the mini trash cans. We actually had, like, big trash cans next to the coffee mm -hmm. and so the kids would just fill it all day long and they would never take out the trash so you'd get it at the end of the day and it was this thing that weighed like 50 plus pounds that you try to maneuver yeah, and if it much. popped at all it would have coffee leaking it's like you gotta change this frequently y'all this that's is always, so heavy i always feel bad like there's a couple starbucks that have the 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 drain by the uh the trash so you can mm -hmm. dump out your drink before you throw it in because i'm like if, you, if people are throwing away like ice and all that stuff. Like in Europe, they do that a lot where you go and you're like, oh, you can actually throw out the ice and stuff in there. So when you put the cup in the recycle bin, you're not recycling any sort of like material. So it's yes. lighter. We need to do that here for sure. We need to do mm -hmm. that. We gotta normalize it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we do. I normalize that. All right, ready? Yeah. Run it. Dippy body boot. Right. Quick claggedy duck. This is what the fuck I want. Dippity <laughs> bobbity boo. What can came to you? I Quick, claggedy duck. This is what the fuck I want. <laughs> what the fuck I want? Where is he that he's doing this? I don't know. This is what the fuck I want. That's incredible. That's got to be like that. That's what they say at the stupid. Yeah, restaurant. every time. Yeah. God, that's funny. And he's planned that's his response. Really funny. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Is he farting? I no, love his that's face, squeaky. bro. Squeaky. That's just how oh. gorillas run. Oh man. Look at this Nick, moment. They're foxes. Oh Look at how beautiful oh my that gosh. is. Wow, how did they get they're up there? So cute. The foxes, they're foxes, bro, they can do anything. <laughs> they can do Why anything. Are they sleeping in the snow? Is it mm. cold? Oh, yeah, not in that sunlight, though. They're baking, bro. Yeah, they're baking in the sun, too. Look how beautiful that is. They look like they're having such a good time. They probably just ate the whole, oh. like, all of the neighborhood's cats. Yeah, they mm -hmm. just ate all the cats, and they're yeah. snacking now. Oh, you my know gosh. How I've been there. Oh, Do they awesome. eat cats? Is, Foxes? Almost exclusively. Very, I feel like Kevin would handle this and fix this situation. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a Kevin solution to the situation. <laughs> I would have held it so I, Personally, I would have held it sideways. I would have had it yeah. held it sideways. Also, I'm not certain, but is there another person to his left? Let it restart. No, I think he's just. Oh, maybe. See, there's there's something right there that you can see kind just for of, a moment. It kind of looks like it, Kevin. You might be right. Maybe that's why he can't go sideways with yeah. the person right next to him. <laughs> that so is dumb. an incredible moment on the highway. Yeah, you just take the take an Uber. Yeah, see next right time. there. See that little blue thing? <laughs> what is that? Take an Uber. Next is that time. another luggage? You think there's the other luggage? Because uh, it looks like he's holding the big one then. And that's you a dumb know what move. It, is? it looks like a neck pillow. They just put the oh. neck pillow over there. Mm. God, that's great. That's a great God. one. That makes me smile. That's a good pull. This guy just deserves to be on fun trip every single time. This guy's insane. This guy is insane. This, this guy is talented. What I like about it too is he was like, I'm gonna do the scooter. Everyone else does like all the other like bikes and skateboards. I'm gonna just own the scooter. Mm. Also, his knees are just gonna give out. One shot of Zork. I would like to ask him what his shins feel like if he just has oh my god of like you know that like go pain. Oh. He just flipped onto a second scooter that his friend was. Did you do you see him almost murder that child? Yeah, that was yeah, that's child, bro. You yeah. gotta get the fuck out of this. You can't you're, be in the park yeah. when this guy's ending it, bro. If that's not you. If your parents, if you die, and your parents see this, like, yeah, you shouldn't have been in this kid's way. This guy's better than you, for sure. Look at these moves. He just did a front flip on like one mile an hour. It's incredible. This guy should be a millionaire. Push P. That was badass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that tree one is incredible. That tree yeah. gap is fire. Woo. I love watching that. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, he missed the <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, poor dog. Oh, man. God, this reminds me of my old dog. Oh, <laughs> didn't he couldn't get it. Get it. Life. it just took a tree right to the chest. Oh. <laughs> Hey, that's, oh, hey Diana, right? Uh -huh. That's hella right, funny. That's yours. funny. Getting directions to Los Angeles International oh, Airport in 0 0.5 miles. <laughs> 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 that's really funny. That's really uh, good. Yeah. Some, some Another <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> The hot trend of the week is that. Some we should probably get Kevin's clip synced up with uh, that and put it on Twitter yes. right now. Um, or we should do that. It would blow up. Where he fell when he fell. Yeah, when he fell Roger, with, this, with this sound. This, this is a hot sound right now. It's a TikTok algorithm. They're talking seven seconds or less, Nick, are the new hot TikTok videos. Seven yeah, seconds or less sense. is all you get. It's, it's crazy. It's oh my such God. an innovative... It's an innovative platform. No one's mm. ever done seven seconds seven. or less videos. You thought it was a minute. Video. You thought it was thirty seconds. Now it's seven. No, it's got to be seven, seven seconds. seconds. Is all you get. I love it. Somebody. I don't. I don't. I don't think that Mike remembers Vine. He Just so you know, Nick. Like, no, yeah. I never I used Vine, Kevin. Did you know that? I never Vine used Vine. Is, it was seven. Like, it was seven seconds. Amazing. It's literally no way. TikTok. Yes, really. It's seven Vine seconds was less. seven seconds. I That's, never knew that. Oh my god. And then somewhere along the line, they were like, "We can't make any money off of this because." We can't serve ads for seven seconds, <laughs> and nobody's paying attention to anything. And then they just died. That's wild. <laughs> yeah, I've seen an influx in ads on TikTok. Like that there's incredible. a lot of ads now lately. Yeah, because they're gonna because they can't make a lot of money off of thirty second videos. Yeah. this is amazing. Yeah. this is fucking <laughs> He's hilarious. In the mouse trap. <laughs> the mouse trap. This is uh, so yeah, I would just leave. Uh, yeah. like, I'm gonna, it's so great. I'm gonna go. She's re I love, yeah, yeah, I mean, 
That's important. Are, are all veterinarian places like the same? Are they just tiny little rooms? Yeah, pretty much. This is me on a Tuesday night, just so you all know. Yeah, she saw them dragon balls. <laughs> <to get> scared. <laughs> this one I identified with. This one hit me. That one hit me deep right there. Fuck you, little boy. <laughs> Damn. <coughs> that was oh, fucking boy. ice and some hey, Mom, Germans. The, the, com cat, right? the comments in that video are so funny. They're like, yo, you got to turn his sensitivity up. Grandpa can barely move the gun. Oh, my yeah. God. It's so good. This is this is hilarious, by the way. It's a great I video. legit love this video. I'm going to restart it, right? Hey, Mom, what noise does a cat make? Meow. What about a dog? Oof. What about a cow? No. Okay. What about me? That's weird. Hey, right, what noise is that? <laughs> yeah. What about a dog? Woof. What about a cow? No. How about me? What noise do I make? Hold on, I don't know what. <laughs> Hey mom, what noise is a cat, right? <laughs> yeah. What about a dog? The way she throws it through oh, the bag. Shit. Yeah. Oh, God. What a terrible human being this guy is. But it's funny. Look at this. What the fuck is happening with this guy? He just went on one of those low. Yeah. It's incredible. So my buddy JD was on a flight recently, said there was only 10 people on it. Yeah, I can't, they have to keep, have to keep flying to keep the routes right or something like that. Yeah, they gotta keep the planes in, in the right place. Yeah. Really? Oh, wow. Everything up. Yeah, it fucks everything up if they pull that many planes out of rotation. Can we get a pause really quick? You know, we've always talked about Joey getting the kind of funny crew on a PJ. What if we skip the expensive flight or expensive ticket of a PJ and we all get on a plane like this? Where it's like some crazy route, like we're going to North Dakota or something from Kansas City that Ooh. nobody's going to be on. And we just go on our own private jet like that. Can we do I, that? Yeah, that would definitely. Be dope. That's, I mean, I, we, I would just do, can we take a jet that just will take us all the way around the country and then come back so we can just party in the air, oh, international law for, for 18, 18 hours. 18 hours. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. That uh, would be a long plane ride. <laughs> <laughs> so there, there, there is a service called... JSX that allows yeah. you to book people that own jets. They'll like rent them out essentially, right? So you get a pilot and then you go there with like, I don't know, 15 other people, let's say. So I yeah. feel like if we if we book 10 or 12 or however many of us there are, yeah. one of those, we've got a good chance of having the whole plane like just being ours. I like this. Oh, I okay. Like this I like that, Kevin. I like yeah, that, Kevin. Cool. Yeah, I, I'm looking to get us on a PJ, get us all locked in on a PJ uh -huh. for a nice flight one day. I like we'll that you refer to it as a PJ, and it makes I, me happy. Yeah, just so you know. Like we get on, on, your, on your PJ, can we serve PB&Js? Oh, of course, of course. Great. We'll have that. That's, that's it. Like, you must. A lot of boots, will you cut you know. the corners off for me? That'd be I'm, great. I'm so bummed out. I'm a corner out. guy. I'll eat your corners. I like corners. Yeah, you can take my corners. I'm so bummed out I never got to go on the Google private jet. Uh, one of these there, days, there Kevin, a, we, we've chance. been talking. We're going to send you to space. Oh, Kevin, that would be I'll lit. Fucking, I'll fucking, I'll go, space, dude. I'm out of here. We were going to try to send you to space and then like, be like, how much to just like keep you up there for a yeah, while. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> keep you up there for a while, he says. <laughs> just uh, until Kevin, he forgets how gravity works. <laughs> as we start to slowly ramp down the show, we do have a couple of user submitted clips and then we will be, I think, at time. So why don't we watch those final clips and get out of here for the lovely afternoon that we just had. Like just so you know, this is Pokemon. Yeah, no, I know. I can understand. <laughs> this is Pokemon. Is this what people do when they do the Pokemon? This is mm -hmm. a Pokemon. It's a new one, Nick. It's different than before. This is the one people don't like very much, right? Uh, No, it just came out on Friday. I think it's doing all yeah, right. Yeah, it's right. actually more positive than people thought uh, a couple weeks yeah. ago. It oh, came okay. out much more positive. Let me tell you, though, Nick, a lot of fucking talking. Oh, my God. They're talking. A lot the tutorials everybody. Nick, let me tell you what. I just keep smashing A. I'm like, skip, uh -huh. skip, 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 yeah, skip, 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 skip. I'm just it's making my own story up. Don't Nintendo. worry about it. I love otters. This is... Oh. I don't know. Um. 
This is my stop. Oh, good for you too. Stand clear of the <laughs> doors, please. Oh, he's asleep. That's yeah. cute. That's, That's cute. cute. Remember when we would just watch otters on Twitch, Nick, all the time? They're you and the I? best. I still God, it was so much fun. Remember the episode of Seinfeld where Jerry falls asleep and he wakes up and the guy next to him is naked? Like, crossing <laughs> naked. <laughs> and then they start arguing about baseball. <laughs> it's great. You've been a naughty boy today, Eric. Eric. Have you been a... <laughs> no. Have you been a naughty boy today? <laughs> You're not a fucking legend at all. Did you bash up the dog? Did, no, you're not a fucking legend. Did you bash? Did you scare the cat? Did you scare the cat? Lester, don't laugh at him. He's not funny. Eric, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You're not a fucking legend at all. You're a naughty, this, this naughty, a naughty, legend. naughty boy. You're not. You're not. Insane, you're not. Lister, bro. don't That's laugh crazy. at him. You're it's naughty. Weird. My mom naughty, keeps trying naughty, to get me naughty. to get a bird. Don't, don't get a bird. I don't no, want one. He doesn't one. want to kiss a legend because you're not a legend. He doesn't birds want to kiss a legend. Birds would be so dope to have if, like, it was like Eagly, right? You just fuck, send that thing out. It flies right. around. It comes back to you. Yes. Maybe you get a nice little embrace. But like, the reality of owning a bird is not what They're you want. They're noisy as shit. It's not what you want. Yeah. Oh man. It's fair. That's a good one right there. I think we have one more, Kevin, and I think we're done. Oh, no, maybe oh, that was all no, three. That yes, was, it was. That was, that was, all, that was all, all of them. Uh, I do want to give a big shout-out to whoever put in the fun clip of Kenny Powers from Eastbound and Down. It was a four-minute clip. I love you. I love Kenny Powers, but we're not going to watch four minutes, unfortunately. But guess what? With that, we're all wrapped up for the today. Today is Monday. It's the final day of January. It's a new week. It's time for you to go out and have some fun. Hopefully, you enjoyed Today's kind of funny morning show with me, Joey, Nick, and Kevin. And of course, if you're watching over on YouTube, please leave your top three movies out of that comedy list that you want to see. And with that, we'll get out of here. Nick Scarpino, final words of the day? None. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>